Hello, everybody. Welcome to the last race of round two of the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee tournament. My name's New Amber, and with me today I have... I'm Joker, hello. I'm Kiki Ron Keith, hello. <laughs> and uh, today I think we have a really exciting race today. We've got Wave Warrior versus Trevaria versus Quo, all running on Pika version. Uh... I, th I think what's most interesting about this race is that the round one times between Wave and Trevaria were less than 40 seconds apart. So I expect this to be a, a really, a really close race. Uh, what do you two think? Yeah, I'm excited for it. The uh, Wave was sixth seed from last round and Triv was the seventh. So, you know, kind of bad luck for Wave going up against Triv, but it's going to be yeah, fun I race. Yeah, it should be really interesting. It's also like obviously the winner will advance, but second place also has to uh, beat the beat the clock. Um, they to be guaranteed into um, the winners, like the top pot, uh, they have to be at three hundred eight of um, nineteen. So second place was also racing not only like the other racers, but against the time. Yeah. Yep. I'm also excited to see Quo, uh, Quo P bead uh, in round one, and uh, maybe maybe we can see it again here. Yeah, double P B. It's possible. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks like yep. Runners are setting their times. I see two light mode switches. Boo! <laughs> Boo them! Boo <laughs> them! We're gonna probably get started uh, right about a minute here. This is when we root. Everyone root for. Quo, but maybe Quo is secret light, <laughs> light mode. Maybe, the, maybe we've got triple light mode. <laughs> yeah. Also, two nope. male you guys. Yep, and an unknown. Yeah. Oh, Wave is a left oh. Joy-Con user, dark too. Quo is dark mode. Dark mode, dark mode. Yo, Quo is okay, go yes. Quo. All right. <laughs> he's listening, he's listening. <laughs> Do you use the left Joy-Con or the right Joy-Con, both of you? I use the right Joy-Con. I am also a right Joy-Con. Okay, cool. Okay, the I use the correct one. Alright, oh, and we are getting underway. Uh, so, oh, Quo has a, has a girl Pika, too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, first thing... I'm curious about to see which character uh, each of our races select. I know a lot of people have strong opinions on that. I see. I hope we see only boy characters. Uh, no. <laughs> Incorrect. No, no, no. no that's girl, late, girl. Late, late, girl. 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 Oh my gosh. So okay. They all want no one. My strat worked. They heard me say I want all boys to so spite me. They all pick girls. Yeah, they all heard you on that like 20 second not delay. Yes. <laughs> exactly. No 11 rivals. <laughs> or one 11 rivals. I I'm always, I'm always uh, famous for doing the 11 11 rival. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I do instead is I have just like do the input too early, and then I just sit on the naming screen for like three seconds. <laughs> I don't know. I also just flub this menu. You know, yeah, so this menu is going to gonna be their uh, their options menu. Uh, more difficult than it looked, you have to do it with a Joy-Con stick. So let's see how quickly they're able to do it. I always like start moving and then do it. Yeah. Way. Same. So being still. Oh, that was like almost the exact same speed for a wave and drift. Uh, yeah, that was. Well, also doing it quite well. That was really good. Pikachu, your stupid rival. I hate this rival. <laughs> While we're getting started here, I guess we can talk about um, Pikachu stats. So, uh, first thing to note is that when we get into this battle here, you're gonna be able to see the, the combat points of the Starmie, also called the CP, of the, of the Starmie, oh my gosh, the Pikachu. Starmie? We're already <laughs> in the Starmie session? There. Waiting for us. It's like two hours of the run. Yeah. 
They're gonna go down right here to Route 21, just swim in the water real quick. Yo, imagine if there was a glitch where we could somehow surf. That yeah. would be great. Hit star immediately. That would break the run. <laughs> so, the Pikachu CP can be either 26 to 27. Uh, you like to see 27 just because 27 means it's a guaranteed neutral Pikachu. In races, uh, you like to see 27. Yeah, in races. Uh, if you see 26, that means it's not neutral. I think there was two 26s for those two. Yeah, I know Wave was definitely the 26. Yeah. So, oh, close 26. Yeah, no neutral Pikachus. Quo got excellent, unfortunate. You don't want an excellent on this capture. Right. Uh, since they're all 26, you all have a chance of getting the dreaded minus attack Pikachu. Uh, so I wonder if anyone gets that, will they uh, go to their backup file? Yeah, runners are allowed to back up to a neutral Pikachu uh, that right in the lab, if they so choose. It does take about 40 seconds to load that backup save. So we'll see, even if they get a minus attack, if they opt to do that, or if they're even going to check their nature at all, or just run whatever they get. Yeah, if, uh, <clears throat> I feel like if they want to, if they're just, if they're just aiming to stay in upper bracket, then they could afford the 40 second time loss. Um, but if they're trying to win, they might just take it, whatever. Oh, because if you're minus attack, just get Clefable and Chansey in that moon, yeah. and you're fine. Yeah. Because that always mm -hmm. happens. <laughs> Headbob did it. I mean, granted the chance he was Route 6, but Headbob did it and had fine XP. It was fine. All right, we're going to see if Wave and Triv are about to check their nature. If either of them do. They uh, both they do. Both they're them. going for it. Relax. Relax. Okay. Quiet. Plus special Actually. attack for Wave. Yep, those are both good. Wave's definitely better. And... Oh, like was a calm, calm for Quo, and for Quo is gonna like opt. Yeah. What's calm? Minus attack plus special defense. Oh, well, it could. If you, if you want a, a plus. If you have minus attack, I, I would take plus special defense, probably. Besides plus attack. Yeah, I feel. I personally, I feel that minus attack Pika is like too risky to run. Just like there's a lot of ranges that you just do not hit. Like Misty Starmie later on, about half an hour into the run, when we get Cerulean, like that just becomes a very bad range. There's just other other spots where you just start missing like normal normal KOs. And to that, I say just get the glowing Clefable and just be level twenty for Misty, and then you're fine. Yeah, if you get lucky, it's fine, but uh, yeah. usually it turns out pretty poorly. Uh, See so aspects we'll... run from this round. <laughs> yeah, that turned out pretty rough. Um, so typically, also in PB attempts, uh, runners will often reset minus special attack. Um, luckily, nobody got it here, but it's not that bad. It's like not anywhere close to as bad as minus attack. Minus special attack only like really bad for like one fight well like minus or plus special attack doesn't even like matter if you're going if you decide to do rival tracks i guess it saves like one turn for tower jesse and james because uh, there's a few situations where you have really good special attack can help you out like against the kangaskhan fight in uh, the rock tunnel area also the second j and j fight um also it kind of helps out with the first jesse and james fight in mount moon um, to kind of more guarantee that two turn play. So there are some advantages to plus special attack. Mm -hmm. Also, this fight, you have a better chance of getting a three turn fight um, on our first rival fight of the game. Um, but you still still most likely need a critical hit to get that three turn fight. Where if you're running like a neutral special attack, you get to even like one critical hit generally results in four turn fight. You know. Could you double crit two turn the EV? You you can do it with plus special attack, yes. Okay. I uh, thought you could, true. but it'd be like never happened. You, ha you have to get two high rolls along with it. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Two crit high rolls. And I see and waves getting a four turn fight trip, paralyzed the EV uh didn't get us uh, didn't get um status lag though, so they didn't really affect too much in terms of time. They're neck and neck. Yeah. 
fall a little behind because of having to load that backup save, so I'll be starting Rival 1 right now. Uh, it's a pretty, usually a pretty consistent 4 turn fight in Pika version. Nothing, not really much variance there. <laughs> yes, it, Wave is at 8 Pokemon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I think he'll, he'll realize uh, once uh, he goes to actually do catch. Yeah. Already yeah. has a Tenta? What a... What a what a what a guy wave is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just from a, a tracker test. I think sure before the race, and I think just forgot to to unmark. But he'll notice when he starts marking things in forest for sure. Okay, so let's see if wave can get a special attack AV. Because as we learned from aspect race, is if if you get a plus special attack AV, the Caterpie is one in sixteen range to kill. Wave should paralyze in the red attack here. Wait, oh, both of them <laughs> Trim paralyzed both of them. Two for two and paralysis. Alright, we're watching for AVs here. HP for Wave. I didn't see Triv. Uh, I didn't see Triv either. It looked like it might have been defense, which would make sense since she's relaxed. Oh, lucky. Defense is like the most useless of defenses. Of the defenses. But yeah. it, it can be helpful in certain situations, just survivability. But the worst AVs to get in Pikachu version are definitely speed AVs because it does not matter. Yes. <laughs> Even with Triv being minus speed, Triv, there's only like one extra thing you get at sped by, and it's not even like dangerous. This Weedle's like 90% chance to catch since it was before Forest. Yeah. At, at worst, the X limit is guaranteed. I think, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so because uh, for some reason, uh, before Viridian Forest, uh, anything you catch has 1.5 times better catch odds. So uh, catching a run controller bug outside there makes it like pretty much almost always guaranteed. So, uh, if I saw correctly, Quill got a special attack AV. That is good. You like to see that? So, AV cycle in 10. I mean, that's just most people know now. But... So, at level 16, that will also be a special attack AV. Mm -hmm, yeah, because it... basically, uh, the, yeah, the AVs you get come in like a, a cycle of 10. So, like, the one you get at level 6 is the same you get at, at 16 and at 26. And then likewise, the one you get at level 7 is the same one you get at 17 and 27. Right. Wave had paralyzed the Caterpie on this fight as well, so both Triv and Wave have uh, two paralysis fights, but no status like. Are we tracking, like, paralysis? <laughs> we gotta get keep that on that. <laughs> I think we gotta, we gotta track it early game, because all the status like adds up. Whoa. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. I thought Triv was on the... the... The Caterpie fight. <laughs> 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 don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> you're playing too much Eevee. You're like, oh, it goes. I don't know, I'll have the old sand attack. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a pretty nice advantage of Pikachu for all these runners that that Pikachu is a one shot. Uh, Except in the attack. situation of running my special attack, it is a 15 and 16. <laughs> oh, no, I, I did not get that college. <laughs> <laughs> It should still kill. It's the opposite of the canopy. <laughs> All right, so Trev is in going after a Weedle as her first catch. She's going to do the Raspberry here. Because Boo! Mm -hmm. raspberry. It, it does increase the uh, catch percentage by about 11% for this Weedle. Uh, mm -hmm. So right now, it's, it's about 84% catch, assuming all 31 8 IVs, and Weedle is caught. So now she can switch to a uh, 2 controller. Um, Wave also has encountered a Pidgey who's being a little bit of a troll right now and oh my gosh. It, <laughs> jumping over every Pokemon. So. Dude, this is what Pidgey's like always, like half the time for me, Pidgey's just keep jumping over and over again. And yeah, Wave also got like boxed in by the Pidgeys as well. So just yeah, off the gadget once he ran into it, which makes sense. Yeah, sure, we could. That's a Caterpie here. Usually, like on the bugs, you tend to wait for them to attack. Um, there is a very small window, um, like on the second cycle, that if you do not, like if they do not attack, that you can't actually throw anti-excellent. But it's a very, very small window. 
One percent oh. butterfree on wave screen. Wait, really? I missed it. It's on the, it's, it a, the menu. it's well, no, it's straight north of wave right now, so you might not see it because you can't get it. It's straight north on like the far path. A wave choosing to deposit the okay, you see on the lower menu. And Triff going for a a forest oddish. The journal is like non purpose. Because the second floor was out, so I wonder if he did hit it by accident because she hit it. She decided to catch it. Which makes sense. Um so generally you wanna like ideally you catch Oddish on Route 2, though like it's I forget the actual percentage. I think it's about 20% spawn on Route yeah. 2. But like with four spawns it, it happens often that you have to reset like the uh in the guardhouse to actually get an Oddish quite often. So catching it now is a bit safe. Uh, though you might want to catch another thing on Route 2, like a Red Tata or a Piggy, just to get the experience up before the Brock fight. Mm -hmm. I feel like in, in PB attempts, a lot of uh, Piggy Runners will like go purposely only go for the Odysseys outside Route 2, but in a race setting, I feel like runners are more willing to just take the lower level forest Odyss because you definitely can get trolled by it just not spawning outside for a really long time. Yeah. Feels bad. So, Quo got a Pikachu, or saw a Pikachu. Obviously didn't catch it because we have Pikachu in spot. Yeah. A nice little bonus on uh, when you're running the EV version, but obviously doesn't matter for Pika version, which all three of our races are doing right now. No Bulba. Okay, looks like Quo is going for that outside Route 2 Oddish. Let's see if he gets lucky. True, playing with Pikachu, seeing how Pikachu's right. doing. Unfortunately for Quo, no Route 2 Oddish spawns, so he has to reset the route using the guardhouse. There it is. Oh, there's, one. there's one right there. Can you I got get... rats. <clears throat> the rat and Pidgey are right there, so could do both right after. Yep. Uh, if he wants to, because Raticate is like easy catch and can also be nice XP. Um, and Pidgeotto's not that bad either. Mm -hmm. We'll see what he's. I don't know what he prefers. Um, yeah, there's also just a benefit of like catching a rat or a Pidgey here um, before Brock is that. For, I think anything above like 19 special attack, if you have a level 10 Anish, will want to KO the Onyx. Where like if you're if you have a level nine level nine Oddish uh, with like less than 20 special attack, you can miss the range quite often on that Onyx. So it's a little bit of actually like having a little bit of safety net just to save a turn later. Yep. Yeah. Glowing rat for true. Just mm -hmm. missed the excellence, so I'm not sure if that's gonna uh, get level nine on get level. Oh, it broke out. Oh, okay. broke out. Like probably good, honestly, because now Chris can yeah, get more XP from the excellent. Yep. I'm surprised that broke out. I know it was nothing, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, no bonus is like the difference between no bonus and like the first stage of the bonus, the nice. Is uh, uh, that's huge. Huge. Okay, we're also going for Rattata. So, the trip getting a lot of EXP here. She's already going to have uh, Beedrill before Brock, and the Metapod will evolve into Butterfree on the Brock fight itself. Oh, um, it, that w it would have been nice if that was first of all, because the Metapod also would have evolved. Could just deposited both before Brock. Okay, Wave has eight Pokemon, but the correct date this time. <laughs> Alright, let's see if Quill we'll opts to catch either of those. Uh, nope. will not. So, uh, all three of runners are about to make their way into Pewter City for the Brock fight. Uh, I assume, unless they opt to catch anything else out here. I would assume not, though. Yeah, Wave 
wave switch in Oz into the first slot over to Pikachu because we use Oz primarily, and Triv's doing the same thing right now. Do you think the menu's like less the same lag in Route 2 and Peter? I've never tried it or thought about that. But yeah, I don't I will it. now. <laughs> I, like, I, always go it. To, I always go to Pewter because I feel like it has less lag, but I've never tested it myself. So, I have no idea. I feel like Route 2 is smaller, but it has the spawn, so. I don't it, It's probably about the same. Because, like, Forest, like, spot, like, lags. Like, the Forest menu is, like, a lot slower than, than like, other stuff. Yeah, I guess, yeah, situationally, if you catch the Oddish in Viridian Forest, you do want to kind of switch it while you're in the guardhouse just to like have as little lag as possible. There you see, see how good this level is. 9 Oddish mm -hmm. Oh, Clubs is going to yep. go for the growth. Just to okay. guarantee that Oddish range, uh, that um, Onyx range. Uh, Wave's just gonna go in and attack. I believe Triv's Oddish is level 10, so he can get Capital Absorb and it's like almost guaranteed. Wave hit 9 on. Yeah. See what range Wave is. hit 9 with 18 special attacks, so this is not a very good range. It's like a 1 in 16 range mm -hmm. on the Onyx. Is that a headbutt I saw? Yeah. yeah. Crit! Oh, crit flint! Crit and flint, bro. Oh, okay. Don't do it again! Okay. okay. Red made it through. That's pretty low. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're gonna want to use this Oddis for a couple fights in Mount Moon as well, so... We'll see... 90 yep. feet? We'll see if Wave decides to heal that or not. It uh, should be fine. It should be fine, I, I think. I think it should be I, fine. Um, I didn't see... Oddis speed. Because as long as it outspeeds the Sandshrew, then it's fine. Uh, it's right now, it is speed tied with Sandshrew. It has 12 speed. Um, it will outspeed the Bell Sprout, 100% sure of that. But you might want to just go down and do the Mount Moon, uh, the uh, Moonstone Room before we go fight the Sandshrew. If you're waiting. Or just get uh, Mankey and Sandshrew, and then it should level up from those two. Or just get them. But, as you know, they do not always spawn. Yeah. Joker, is your entire commentary just gonna be just get lucky? Is that what it's gonna be? I mean, isn't that what it is for the most part? All my oh, other commentaries. Okay. It's yeah. that and then like booing people when they make smart decisions but not fun decisions. Yep. Yeah. And Quo doing a, a a menu that I'm not used to. It's a more when you are selling Pokeballs to find greater more great balls and get extra uh, get extra X items. Uh, whereas Wave looks like he's doing a more standard advanced menu. Um, also, Quo playing a little safe, getting a burn heal here. Um, Often times to see runners just like avoid. In Pikachu, do, do not get a burn heal because generally the two situations you get burned early in the game, um, they don't aren't really present for Pikachu. So. See these spinner passes. Yeah, so we see Quo going towards the middle of the uh, that pass, um, where it's generally if you actually go to the far right side, uh, you can nope, actually... Sandshrew for Quo. There's... Is that Sandshrew gonna? Okay, yes. Sandshrew Wave for is Quo, going, and Wave's going for a Spiro. Um... Uh, but back to the point I was making. If you go into the right, you can actually have a timing between the two spinner passes along uh, Route 3 is that you can time them both to pass them um, without having without having to stop movement at all. So unfortunately for both like Wave and Triv, even though they went to the right, the first spinner came down so that kind of like broke that Thank you. change and Triv has a lead. Yeah, I'm definitely interested that it was interesting to me that Wave went for that glowing Spiro. Uh, I know it, it is glowing, and glowing Pokemon do give more experience than uh, non-glowing Pokemon. So maybe that was his thought process, but also if you catch things on this route, generally come at pretty low levels. So you're generally not going to get a lot of EXP from them. 
And if you catch Spiro now, you're pretty much locking yourself out of getting Firo later. You mean you don't want to just catch a Firo? Firo is a an awful, awful catch that you should never ever do. Yes, I agree with that. Never ever do it. Never do it Firo. Is, it's so bad. Never do Golbat either. Those two. <laughs> maybe, cool. maybe Wave's thinking was about getting a the bug evolution. Also, ooh, Quo accidentally getting caught oh. by the uh, spinner there. Luckily, like, the trainers on this road are very weak, so it's not difficult to uh, take them out quickly, but still uh, a little bit of time loss. We've got a Mankey. So you can 1C great these Pokemon, um, but I always, personally, I always muscle memory the second controller. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I could have won seed though. Yeah. I, yeah. When sure, you... I went into the Pokemon Center and bought the Magic Park for, for a ridiculous 500 post day. But it is one of the fastest catches in the game. I think it's the second fastest um, we actually can get in the game, uh, with the first being Porygon. Mm -hmm. Yep, Wave and Quile uh, about to do the same. Like synced up buying it. <laughs> yes. oh. uh, Trip is good on the first fight in, in uh, Mount Moon versus the Bell Sprouts. So generally, what you want to see here, Bell Sprout use is uh, worst growth. move. Yeah, Grap is the worst move because it has an additional uh, like two seconds uh, for the um, end of turn uh, damage. So Grap is definitely a move you do not want to see. The reason growth is that like best compared to what like buying with yeah. is because when you're on the sand true, you don't get the absorb text of like regening your HP if your HP is full. Well, also um, getting the the two uh, like text box you get for the plus attack and plus special attack, like it's still faster than the actual damage roll from buying with itself. Yeah, but that's all minor stuff. So. Okay. So Triv often to go down the ladder before doing the sand truth fight. So depending on your Odyssey's speed, I believe, uh, sometimes you'll do the sand truth fight first and then go down the ladder, and then sometimes you'll go down the ladder first, get some extra levels, and then do that sand truth fight. I also, always yeah, Joker. I always do the sand truth fight second after this, just because. I feel like I'm always depositing, maybe I'm doing just doing it wrong, it's slower, but I'm usually depositing Clefairy, Harris, Geodude, like, after, so I'm going in my menu again, so it's just like, I can just switch the Pikachu there. Yeah, I guess, uh, basically whether you do it before or after, it just kind of comes down to, uh, up, trying to optimize your, your menuing as much as you can. Like, there's a, also... There's a lot of little things that go into it. Yeah, there's also the motion one... Control one situation uh, just like if you want to get a double moonstone chance in the um, room that you might just choose to go down even though it might be manually optional to go fight the sand mm -hmm. yeah double moonstone being the, a little trick where if you if the games uh the system clock rolls over midnight uh some items respawn, have a chance to respawn, such as the Moonstone down here. So you're gonna try, the runners will try to pick up a Moonstone for midnight on their switch time, and then uh, try to pick up another one after. Well, Triv has all the spawns, but unfortunately got motion controlled, trying to throw the side on that Clefairy, so it did an excellent hit. Um, XP should be fine. Uh, yeah, the EXP should be fine for Trip, yeah, no, even though yeah. she, even though she got motion controlled because the Clefairy was glowing. Uh, just still got a 1.5 times bonus, which is about equivalent to throwing a great anyway. Nice so. Zubat, nice Zubat Moon. <laughs> Love all these Zubats for Wave. Yeah, yeah. That's a terrible spot. Is that double Moonstone for Trip? Uh, I, that must be double Moonstone. Yes. No, Judy. I've been on this streak of getting crappy Geodude punch cycles. Of course, just misses because 
Well, I'll get on the bad side, watch out. If you don't get the first cycle, the circle's like fairly off and like you BS miss it for some reason, for no reason. Yeah, so the thing with Geodude is that Geodude kind of waves back and forth. And that means that um, sometimes it can be difficult to get an excellent throw on Geodude. So we, we have a strat basically where if the Geodude does its like kind of punch attack when the circle is, is small, basically you can throw it right at just pulling its fist back and get a very easy excellent. Uh, if Geodude doesn't decide to attack during that, that, uh, that time, though, it can be difficult to, uh, get a good throw on it. The same true animation takes forever. Yep, now Trev during that fight that Wave and Pull already did. Wave to so, get a Paris, that's good. Local fairy. I don't Not yet, at least. Got a lot of spot opportunity. Moved a, a decent amount in his room, so I don't know how much lower left, but hopefully he still fine. Nice GD. Yeah, well they lure like right before going into that bottom room, so they still have a lot of steps in their lore. Just could last them a decent amount of the way for the moon. Where's the fable? Yep, Wade just hopping to leave here, not gonna wait around anymore. Just hope to see a Clefairy going through a moon. Okay. Yep, now here we see Trev doing her, her second deposit menu where you switch Pikachu over uh, to the first slot because we're gonna use it again as the main throughout most of this run and just positing everything else so to not get level ups along the way. Yes, so waves ran out before the bottom floor, so... Oh, it okay. still gets the Clefairy. Very I wonder... Easy. Nice avoiding the hypnosis from the trip. What level is this Clefairy? Chansey! Oh, Go, going for it! Level 5 yeah. Clefairy. Quo, I believe Quo did just deposit everything except, uh... Yes. Oh, and Onyx. 1% so. Onyx! Not going for it. Not going for it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Motion going controlled. Going for, for Chansey, uh, but not opting to double Great Ball. Um, and also Should double Great the Ball. That is immediate breakout. So if there is a breakout you want, like you were to get, that's the best one possible. Okay, here's a double Great Ball. Here's double Great Ball. Hopefully this side throw goes better. Nope. No. Did, also did... a little late with the side throw. Either way. Did I see? I don't know what spawned at the bottom of Trip's screen. screen. It was either a Zubat or it was a Pokemon. I mean, yeah, those two Pokemon it, are it's, very different. It's, part of your Joker. It's, always, it's going to be called Fable until you see it's not. Okay, fine. Yes. Yeah, so Trip definitely got a Fable. Okay, it's caught. Wave got put to sleep. That was decent amount of experience for Quell. Yeah, so Quell still getting a thousand experience, but that definitely helped out um, because it was pretty low on experience up until that point. Would have been a rough go through the rest of Mount Moon and potentially might have had to do early Nugget Bridge. Mm -hmm. and now Chansey kind of fixes that. Quell yeah. doesn't have a Clefairy either. Yeah, still has that opportunity. So. Wave has 16 Pokemon? Wave has 15 Wave according to the tracker. Yeah, but not more Clefairy. He caught it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Trip has 14. Oh, oh there's Clefairy for 12. Nice. Good. Oh, I believe everybody got Geodude, Paris, Clefairy. If, yes. uh, if I remember correctly, yep. And those are the three things you generally want to see in Mount Moon. I wonder if Cole can uh, one-shot the Drowsy. I don't know the counts. I don't know them either, but uh, it's level 16. That's pretty 
pretty high here, so potentially. Yeah, th it's a it's a low potential right now, especially if you're if you're running neutral um, attack Pikachu. It's pretty it's a pretty low range, but it is possible to one hit KO neutrality. Um, obviously, plus attack has a much better chance. Fairy Lord Saint. Yep, so it's Rivaria on that uh, Jesse James one fight, the first double battle we're seeing. Uh, gonna hope to try to get that two turn fight. Let's see? No. No. Nope. It did not get it. Um, see, the range on the Ekans was a bit too bad for, to get the uh, to get the S and get it all. If only the Oddish was 15, maybe. Yeah, if I was for 15, that definitely would have been a KO. Like Zubat dancing? Yeah. Yeah. But we Wave off to get the Zubat here. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Keith. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm assuming this has to do with uh, the amount of experience Wave has right now. I don't don't exactly know the level. I, I thought he was fine. I think yeah. part of it is that Zubat's a lot easier to catch in Mount Moon than in Rock Tunnel. But, no, uh, no gold bet. No yeah, fear. Yeah, lock yourself out of gold bet. Uh, no. Yeah, maybe you're right, Keith, about that, that EXP. Yeah, you really want to be getting out level 15 once you enter Cerulean, because otherwise you have to do uh, Nugget Bridge first for Misty. And that loses a, a fair bit of time. Not only that, it's like because waves have a plus special attack, but it's at level 14, it's not gonna really matter much for this fight. So generally you have a better range with the thunder shot with the thunder shock the getting uh the Ekans into acid range, but here at level 14, it's just, this is gonna be pretty much a guaranteed loser, like barring some critical hits. 35 yeah. attack for Triv. Yeah, so 35 attack um, on the Star Mew, the Zippy Zap at plus 2 will be a 10 16 range. So ideally, Triv would like to see a one more level up, which will get he can shoot to 37 attack and make the Star Mew range guaranteed. Copping range? Another paralyzed by the wave. <laughs> yeah, yeah keep it not stop paralyzing. The three card paralysis for a wave. Doesn't have the level up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> needs the Sanctuary, right? Yeah. So. Oh. Yeah, so he does need another catch here. Um, now there Sanju is. Sanju or Psyduck? Yeah. Yeah. Either Sanju or Psyduck. Um, there is an option to go get a rare candy, um, but if you're going to go get that rare candy um, through this, this through the first guard house within um, Cerulean, you might as well just go through early Nugget Bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, it looks like Wave's going to be forced to do early Nugget Bridge. Yeah. Could also optionally go fight Rival 1 right now, and then just come back and immediately do um, the gym. Uh, I'm of the opinion that if you're going up there to do the Rival fight, you might as well just do early Nugget Bridge at that point. Yeah. You've already I lost all the movement time. I agree with that. I should hit the range, if it seems. Yes. Yeah, easy 1016. Okay, let's see. Uh... Nice. Wave and Triv going on to the same fight, but Triv is now doing this post uh, Misty, and Wave's doing it pre Misty. So Wave's going to have a little bit harder time with this fight not being level 15 because uh, the Oddish. No, we'll be 15. Of... We'll be 15. We'll, we'll be 15. Um, 
but still, the EV range um, will be a bit worse uh, because it's plus special attack and using primarily physical attack. Um, also, Oz, she might be might be close to like a three hit KO range with headbutt. I feel like it's 15 or 36. Uh, 36 up, he might be okay. Yeah. Actually. It's good that he just needed 15 on the pitch. At least it wasn't absorbed. Yeah, but he get, oh, did get, well, did get poisoned, Zor so... The Zora could happen here. Well, this this will be a three shot now, right? Well, it'll Maybe. heal. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, okay. Don't get acid, though. So this is a good acid, So he's, this is going to be a heal. Oh, oh wow. That was okay. cool. That's surprising. I thought it always healed. I thought Rival always healed. I guess not. No, it's it's a chance that it can heal. Yeah, with if a ri if the rival's Pokemon is on low HP, it has a chance to heal, but it doesn't always do it. <laughs> oh, oh, scary! Commentator's curse. Yeah, even though Wave and Trevor on were pretty much kind of at the same point on Mega Bridge. Wave just finishing up the rival and Triv just starting the first fight on the bridge. Triv's Wave. already done mystery, but Wave also has more catches than Triv, so uh Oh, and Wave gonna go opt to just go down after the rival fight head into Misty Gem. Yeah, I guess I guess one reason to do this, to do it in this order, is to get Pikachu to level up a little bit. Um before you take on some of the later fights of the route, like just, I'm I'm thinking more about the the Rocket Nugget fight, um, mm -hmm. just to increase the possibility of getting a one hit KO with Zippy Zap on that coughing. Though it will still be a pretty bad range because you'll won't, you definitely will not be level 18 in time for that at this point. It might not even be a range. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it might not be even, even be a range. That's correct. I think it's possible it might be. I didn't see. Oh, if you're level Coden. 17, like 40, I think it'll be a range. Oh, Coden X attack, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't get burned by Skull, gets the two shot. So, it's, it's all okay. Okay, what's Quo's 18 stats? Okay, nice 41. So, I, I think Quo should hit 19 before coughing. So, what happens if he's at range? I'm I think Quo will hit. Quo will hit. Uh, will have a guaranteed range. It hits Has nineteen to... before coughing. Yeah, right now it's not because it's forty-one. It's 42 Correct. At Which means it's. Oh, Wave did not X attack either, unless I missed it. <laughs> okay. I, I I admit I could have missed it. Let's see. Oh, realize it now. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Get the one shot. Yeah. Okay. This is kind of scuffed early game for me. Yeah, things have not been going waves way here and uh kinda of in the cerulean section so far, getting that three shot on Oddish, uh we're getting the X attack on on uh Psyduck, but two what is burn? Be... What is burn? <laughs> Did Trip get fake out? I wasn't. I wasn't looking either, but uh, yeah, that fourth fight on the bridge did me off with fake out. <laughs> and sometimes we joke in the community, yeah, if you get if you don't get fake out, your run's alive, and if you get it, your run's dead. Two for ditch build. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it ditch build had a lot more. Okay, well, Trip's gonna get So all of them on Nugget Bridge right now. The most yep. exciting part of the run for everyone, I know. Yep. Yeah, and Gavin, Gavin making a Gavin making a note here in chat that uh, the trip is doing the grass background of 
fight for Rocket Nugget. So it's interesting, a little Blink, mechanic. It, let's go. If you, if you talk to the uh, if you talk to the uh, not Rocket Nugget trainer, um, like while you're on the bridge, uh, it will be the bridge background. But if you just go straight ahead and let and see you, uh, the fight will actually take place on grass. So, a little fun fact about the fight. I remember years ago, Etiquette was going to time which one was faster, but never, no one never timed it. So. And Triv opted to not go for the Venonet. Um, Venonet can be a bit of a trolley catch, especially if you're not using double great ball. Um, so, I can definitely understand not going for it. Um, Skipping Venonet's the right play. I, I like going for Venom Knight, because I mean, you it's just a catch, like, the right layer, and, like, it's not that likely to troll you, especially, like, now that we're car kind of carrying Oddish with you. Like, um, with, on, like, older regs, we used to only have Pidgey, uh, Pikachu on the party right now, and because of that, if you wanted to get Venom Knight, you'd be forced to do a one controller catch, which has way worse odds. But now, with newer regs, because we carry Pikachu and Oddish were able to do that Q controller catch. So I like running that, but it still it still can be annoying for sure. And sometimes you have to walk far for it. So definitely, uh, I think people are pretty split on that. Villanet depends where it is. Like if it was if it's on closer to the hiker, um, in addition to also having Squirtle there, right? Three catches. But uh, um, I think everyone did the safe sand true fight. You can just one see it. Um, and try to get the 30% headbutt flinch, but then uh, Sanctuary can poison you if it doesn't get flinched, or it can sand attack you. Um, so I think, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll, I saw it forward and definitely get Sanctuary. I think it doesn't lose that much time. Or it even saves time. I don't know if on average it saves time. I think. Oh, uh, the one controller fight? Versus two. The one controller saves time. I think it yeah. depends. So if you do the two controller fight, you just absorb with Oddest, and then you have the turn to heal Pikachu. Uh, so if you have to heal, I believe it's better to do the two controller fight. If you don't have to heal, it's better to do the one controller fight. But also the one controller fight is risky, so you might just always do the two controller fight. So definitely a, a few things that go into your decision there. We see Squirtle on the way back. We see a Pidgey. When I'm playing, I always try and see this Route 24 in the top left corner of the screen. See if Squirtle spawns there. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, I, I've never <laughs> tried to look in there before. <laughs> Maybe I'll start doing it. It's it's a major disappointment when you see Squirtle as you're walking down the part where that grass is not inaccessible. Yeah. It's actually never happened to me, but I also never see Squirtle before. It, it has happened to me. Oh, <laughs> it is, it's very sad. It's even sadder in Diploma, because you save like five minutes not changing. Squirtle for Wave. There we go. Wave, Wave going to decide to go for it. That was closer. Nox skip. Wave is up there. Nox skip. Would you like to talk about what not skip is and why you left it so much Joker? And how you failed at the last run. What are you talking about? That never happened. Oh my happened. gosh. Oh, oh, wow. That's a bit on that party. Right <laughs> Skipping the party doesn't want to join the bit on that party. So that trainer Cole waited on, um, if you go around the hiker's vision, you can um, go above and then go like past this youngster person. Um, and just skip waiting there. I think we can not make it. Um, but you go through that little gap there and then you just go through. Uh, it saves like one second if that. Um, everyone should do it. Okay, Joker. <laughs> Although, I, I don't know what it is, but like if, if you do bridge movement correctly or something, you can like get it so that you don't have to wait. For the youngster to turn, and then you don't need to do not skip. You're not waiting. But I don't know how to consistently get it to happen. Yeah, one kind of like weird thing with 
with spinners in this game. The spinners in this game are like way friendlier than spinners in previous gens. They kind of like have a cycle of like, okay, once they've stayed in one spot for a specific amount of time, then they'll turn to a different direction, then wait, and then turn on like a pretty consistent cycle. Uh, and, but if you like, you know, start a trainer fight or enter a cutscene, it like pauses that cycle. So sometimes you can like kind of manipulate when spinners turn, but it's it's kind of hard to test. So not I don't think a lot of research has gone into that. It's also really not like it's only a few trainers. It's like not much time save, right? So no one. Is really... Yeah. Yep. Yeah, now you're seeing Gravaria going on to route six here. Um, she lower would prefer going in here and. On Route 6 in Pikachu version, you do oh, want to see growling. you do want to see the not, puppy here. Um, puppy. Abra. I, well, there's oh an gosh. Abra. Okay, this is this is interesting. So the Abra Chansey. Let's go. Abra Chansey. Let's Abra go. Chansey would be so good. This is okay. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Route 6 for sure. So, 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 uh, Triv, just uh, Nana the Abra. You can also just throw it immediately, and if you get a good cycle. And not motion, and you don't get motion control. You just hit the excellent. Um, it's a very, that's a very hard to time throw, though. I mean, you just yeah. throw it immediately, like you. You just enter the, the fight, and then like as fast as possible, just throw. But also, Abra has like a good enough catch rate. If you don't care about XP, um, then it should get in most of the time. Yes. But then Nan Nanab's perfectly fine because it stops it moving side to side but, and makes it. But what we see Trip go for the Chansey. Yes, we yes. will! Yes. yes, we will. Here we go. Let's go. So, with, with double Great Ball and a Raspberry, this Chansey on an excellent throw is about 60% catch here. Let's see if Better than a coin flip. Should get in, in my opinion. Let's go. Let's get in. One, two, three. three. Easy. Let's go. So will Chips get the yeah. gift for Growlithe? Look okay. at that! Beautiful. So, so it so um, since Abra evolves at level twenty, it won't learn Nightshade when it evolves into Cadaver. So, side beam will just be one up instead of having to menu two moves. Blue. I didn't even consider that, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Wade yeah, and actually... are making their way down to Route Six. Uh, we'll probably not get as good down. luck as Trip. Walking we'll fast. Growlithe's pass, and I'm um, vermilion bound. Do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Triv does not need the Growlithe like for fights anymore. Let's see if she decides to go for that Growlithe. Well, well, there is one situation you still need the Growlithe for. Um, you do use it as a as a sacrificial puppy um, on the. Third J and J fight uh, in Lavender Tower, so I will expect Trevara to go for that Growlithe um, since it had spawn already. Yep, going for it. Oh, there's yeah, a Jiggly. And, there's Jigglypuff too. Wow, that is such like a perfect Route Ten to see this. Is trip. such a very... good. Yes, it's, this is so good. Switching to Pokeballs because don't need to double grades. Mm -hmm. Um, so tip tip for Jigglypuff for newer people: just throw immediately. Don't care about excellence because Jigglypuff can float in the air for like twenty seconds. Not that long, but it floats for pretty long. So it, feel, it feels like twenty seconds. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like even if even if you throw it, it attack and then you have to throw a second time. It's like still faster than waiting for the Jigglypuff to float. <laughs> Yeah, but this is like the best Route 6 you'll see. Yeah, it gets the attack yeah, yeah. perfectly fine. Just throw it right here. Quill getting a puff as well. I believe that's the, is it the first thing Quill's getting. And yeah, Quill yes. going for that as well. throw gets the excellent. If you saw the Jigglypuff was about to start rising up, uh, it was at the very start.
Okay. Okay. There's, there's Doggo. We got the Doggo for Wade. Puppy. Yeah. Uh, typically, you kind of want the cat to see the the doggy first, just so it can get some extra experience. Guys, the uh, difference you pass it at level 17, but you really want it to be level 18 for some fights on Route 9. So Wade's gonna go for that doggy first, and then uh, I assume gonna go for the puff after. Yeah, and sure Another is. chancy! Another, Another chancy! chancy. Oh my gosh. Another chancy for Trim. <laughs> um. You should see her. You saw her successfully complete uh, Route 6 skip. We can kind of just like go through the middle of their vision. Um, like, and not be hit, not be seen on either side. They, both those trims have very short of vision. Okay, so Trim is doing race safety strat. Um, keeping the Helix Fossil in case uh, she needs it for 50 to 50 Pokemon. So it's a good race strat. Um, in actual PB attempts, people would just sell the fossil and not pick up that PP up. But, uh, Speaking of Trip's Pokemon count, uh, fucking pretty good right now, to be honest. Yeah. I would say yeah. All, all of their Quo getting in an Abra. Good. Oh, an Abra for Quo, let's go! Oh, wow. It just thrown right away, like you said, Joker. That was, that didn't look like a side throw. That looked like a... Straight throw. Actually, uh, Easy yep. for me. Route six skip. Now we see Wave going into his shop. And Wave's Wave choosing not... to sell the Helix Fossil, so not doing the race safety strat. No dog for Chloe. I see a duck. Or a fish, sorry. You see Quo oh, waiting for waiting for a dog. Um unfortunately if you get Abra la as your last catch and it Nice to change up. Can't see oh, you can't see as well. Hold on, you have to, you have to you have to already you have to go have Harry has one. Oh he, he already has one. Yeah. Harry has oh, Chansey, so <laughs> already has Chansey. Can't there's a puppy. There's, there's a dog, there's a puppy. okay. All the way at the top. So this is gonna take a lot of time just to walk back and get it. <laughs> And At least it didn't run up more. <laughs> That's true. Yep. Yeah. Last great ball. Hey, see, and Trio's about to go on to the rival three fight. Um, because she's at level like 22 Pikachu, I think she's going to opt for it. Nope. nope. She's choosing to go for the two the uh, two controller fight here. Um, though, you, though with level 21 uh, Pikachu, it is and as long as you have three attack AVs, uh, it's pretty safe to go for a one controller fight um, on this. But she's going for the safe two two controller fight here. So Wave so got this the turn skips. Yo, let's go. <laughs> That's like such a niche thing that like saved like half a second, but it's really yeah. cool when you get it. Basically, like, if you come into that cutscene at, like, a really precise angle, you can skip the animation of your character turning. I'm really bad at it, so I get really excited when I see other people do it. I just try for the one, like, one to one turn is pretty easy to do. I I just try not to do the, get the two turn turn. Anyway, these are some really good catch counts for all three of our races here, coming into to the SSN. Yeah, 20 for Kriv, 20 for Wave, 20 for Quo. Yeah, 19, 20 is excellent going into this point. Um, that we did through it, like, Wave does have some, like, catches that he cannot, well, most likely cannot get now. This, the Spear, the Firo, and the Golbat now. Um, so we have to be wary of that for, where, for Wave. Hopefully, all these racers have a way better Route 10 than Dino did yesterday. This is really bad. So oh, I, easy skip for Quo. Nice. I actually did see uh, Dino's Route 10 yesterday. Would you like to explain what happened there? So, the first uh, Dino gets to Route 10, and it's like, it's like, um, Radicate, Radicate, Nidorino, or Nidorina, or something, and, uh, um, it was Nidorina, and then, like, a, a Rattata, which Dino already had. And then, re re uh, Repel Lord, and it was just like, all of all stuff. Um, and then Repel Lord again, and eventually got 
um, Nidoran male, Krabby, Spiro, uh, and then also Nidoran, uh, Nidoran female that just went straight into the box. But Diamond Cart, Nidorina, and Nidorina female. I don't know, sounds like a lot of characters. Sounds great to me, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> it only took, took like a million repellers and lures. Yeah, at least the cat just came on the th on the third, on like the second repel lore, but like, it took forever. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, I like guess. Did Wave do 1C? I was Wave did not do 1C, he did the safe 2C thing. Okay, this is the, the route And Chug going back up, route Easy. 6 skip, and got it easily. Okay. Easier this way because you have so much time to line it up. Mm -hmm. Still, kind of on occasion hit it, but yeah. it is also feel just going holding controller up versus down is just easier in general. Yeah, I find that for Joy Cons at least. I find that like holding a card in all direction on a Joy Con without like moving your finger too much is like. The most difficult task in this game. It is one of them, yeah. It, it is. I know for for route six skip, I actually probably do the down technique like different than everyone else. I just do it very slowly, like tap, 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 tap. I, like, I stop I, in between the two. Bingo. I used to do that, and then I just decided to actually practice doing it quickly. Okay, because there's like little markers on the ground that you can kind of use to line it up. So I just started doing that. I really wish we could use Ride Pokemon in these underground parts. Yep, and we see Quo uh, having Oddish follow him at the moment. Aww. It's What's so that cute. friendship? <laughs> Alright, Trinfar is going into the to the first fight of, of, of well, I guess this is Route 9 technically. Um, so, so generally in Pikachu, we do these as double battles. Um, Pikachu tends to need help, especially with the Gloom and the Sand True um, on this route, where Eevee can generally solo this route. I don't know, um... I don't know the calcs, but I know if you're... This, this applies more if your Pikachu's higher level, like, because you're doing AOP or something. But you can plus four headbutt the Gloom in one shot. Um, but you need yeah, yeah, it applies more to level. AOP. I think you have to be at least level ready to get that range. And yeah, you still have to be plus attack. For AOP, I want to try, like, Drow Drowsy sucks. So I wish it Drowsy is, Drowsy is not. <laughs> like, then I get less wasted extra levels, but it's like, Drowsy's too bad. So Wave Growlithe is only level 17 right now, so it's gonna be a range for that X special flamethrower on Gloom. Will it will it level up for um, the Sandshrew? I hope it does because uh, you really want to be level 18 for that Sandshrew because otherwise it can be a, a range and uh, Sandshrew has really bad moves that you don't want to see. I think it, it technically can be a range at level 18 if you have like literal minimum special attack, but yeah, it's like really zero unlikely. To six, zero to six. My special, I think, or something? Ooh, it's not just... get that level up. Uh. It, it does not get the level up, but the fact that he was able to KO the Gloom um, without like without more than one turn, it, it should be pretty safe for the Sandshrew at this point. Yeah. Now, do you know if the Gloom range is worse than the Sandshrew range? The Gloom range is worse than the Sandshrew range. Okay, yes. okay. Quo, I think, did the safe C fight too? I think. Yeah, I mean, Quo was. I think Quo was barely not level 21, so couldn't do it anyways. Oh, okay. Let's see what the safe gives? Hopefully, nothing. <laughs> easy. Okay, easy. Triv got the nice uh, gloom level up on this final battle, so just deposit. He did get double moonstones and also involved the Luffy. Yeah. I am curious to see if Prayer will deposit everything except Pikachu, or if he'll opt to keep something else in the party to be able to do a 
two controller attached for the first thing I ran out of time. So, trim lures after this. Um, a lot of people run as lore at this uh, camper. You do have to be careful because stuff can already be spawned. So, you just have to make sure that if you catch an Nidoran male or female, that it is level 24. Um, you just have to be aware that it's a possibility that the thing you're seeing is unlord. Trip is depositing everything. Yep. So we're going to be seeing a one controller catch for the first thing on Route 10, which is typically Trip. fine, but can troll a little bit. Hopefully Trip see. Yes, YOLO, let's go wave YOLOing that. Trip I, not. I'm too scared to ever YOLO. That crawl right there. <laughs> As I say every time, I only hit her once, and it was after I was shit talking someone about not yoloing her. Yeah. If you, if you're going to yolo that particular uh, spinner, just go straight down past her vision. Don't turn to the right until you're past. It. Um, for any runners who want to try to yolo that pass, I definitely go more southeast than. The no, I would go straight north to south. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Keith. Except I just don't even YOLO it, so you know. <laughs> okay. Wave gets Nidoran male immediately. Yep. Trivia gets Nidoran female immediately. Um, generally, you prefer to get Nidoran male, but there are also strategies with, with uh, Nidoran female and Nidoran queen, which are, which are slightly slower, but not, not much to make worth about. Uh, Waiting around, possibly repel luring for Nidoran male if you're on a good pace already. Okay, see, so Quo's doing the lore uh, before Alicia, so doesn't have to worry about um, doesn't have to worry about a uh, Pokemon not being. So the last thing that was fun, catching the Nidorino. Okay, so we'll do Queen Strats or Thrash Strats. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what. Yeah, I think queen strats would, would be better than thrash strats. I have no idea because I didn't know thrash strats were a thing until like. Well, with thrash strats, you lose time on actually keeping thrash on it, and then you, you you miss out on the like the one hit KO on the club berry fight later on. Um, so it's it's not even worth it compared to doing just strats. So. Uh, Trib wanted to guarantee the Nidorino catch because 2C Great Great Excellent is 88% with like 6 IV, so it's probably more like 90%. But the Raz guarantees it. You really don't need a Raz Nidorino or Nidorino because um, they're like 88%. Uh, if you get. Um, but guaranteeing is nice because you don't get the, uh, or you're definitely going to get the XP. We'll see which one Trib decides to, uh, to follow. Oh, Braticate? Not going back. Uh, I'm surprised Trib didn't go back for that Eradicate. It was glowing, so... Which glowing would have been a lot of good experience. Maybe if you have, like, evolved things in her party already that you didn't want to get all that EXP, maybe? Could, could have just fo been focusing on dodging the Pokemon, like, under the jump and just didn't see it, too. Yeah, that's also a possibility. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Triv also just doesn't have Raticate Mark, though, so she just might not have been going for it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is really nice experience, though. I, I'm a big, I'm a big, uh, I'm a Raticate enjoyer. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I, I think since the evolution of the route with with the uh, catch count percentage is known with double great ball, like going for Raticate seems like a great play now just to get extra exp just to get extra mid game experience. Um, like we do this already with Geodude and Graveler, we catch Geodude early, we catch Graveler in Rock Tunnel. You can effectively do the same thing catching Raticate early in Raticate, like on Route 10 or potentially one of the route. Uh, I think it's seven or eight as well. So it's kind of like work with the same. YOLO way. Quo, let's go! Quo YOLO'd. Nidorina. Right. Chance Quo <laughs> see all the chances. Radicate. Radicate. Okay. Krabby. Krabby. Okay, okay, one well. thing at least. <laughs> Could have been yeah. worse, I guess. Yeah, Radicate, uh, Route 10, Great Great Excellent is also like 88%, so like you don't even need to bury any of the 
evil, evil Quo forms. thrown with two Pokeballs there. Um, must have ran out of Great Balls previously, um, so he needs to switch both of well, switch both of them to Great now. Well, really, just for Krabby's one. For, for Krabby one, yeah, I guess yeah, that does make sense. Yeah. The, the only double Greats you really need in these sections would be the Raticate, uh Mid Arena, Mid Arena, and then in Tunnel um, Rivalry. Assuming you hit all that. Yeah. Um, if you, for, I guess for now, for PV attempts for like high end, like 300, 301 pace runners, like there's a there's a bit of optimization in not going for excellence there and just going for nicer grades because they're still guaranteed catches. Um, and you just save time by not going for them. Were you going to say something, Amber? I was pretty much going to say what Keith just said. That uh, the little optimization there with, uh, you know, double grades. Uh, looks like both Wave and Triv getting Cubone in Tunnel first. Uh, runners will be looking for... Oh, easy! Rhyhorn! Rhyhorn's the most important! <laughs> nice, uh, ride Pokemon to get. Yep, so Trip's gonna deposit the Dorino. Oh, not evolving. Oh, oops. Okay, accidentally evolved. Deposit a Cubone. Also, looks like doing Queen Strat here. No. We will see. That means we will see Metronome. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we'll... Yeah, so generally Needle King is better than Needle Queen for a partner for this upcoming section. The problem is that Trevaria caught a Nidorino instead of a Nidoran male, and that Nidorino does not come with Poison Jab. So if you wanted to use Nido King there, what you'd have to do is teach it Thrash when you evolve it, uh, and then you also uh, lose your turn on the Clefairy fight and are subject to Metronome. Yeah, I actually think just Thrash in general is just the worst. Of the strategies you use. <laughs> just, just timing wise, turn wise, um, to get into the board of the advanced calcs. Um, well, the 88% broke out. Clo just got wrong. Um, Speaking of getting that's robbed, that should have been actually in my opinion. Yeah. Clo getting robbed on this Nid Arena fight got her catch. I, I think Nid Arena might run? No, no. I thought I saw it attacking with the Circle State. Like I said, 88%, this should really not be breaking out. Like, you should not be needing to bury this. What were you saying, uh, Keith, about Oh, yeah, the... so about, like, the, 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 the strategy. So, generally, uh, with Nido Queen on the rival four fight that you do in tower, you generally lose a turn uh, because you'll need to headbutt the gloom twice with the two versus doing a one-hit KO with Poison on Nido King. But later on, when you fight the Hypno Trainer within Hideout, you generally can get a one-hit KO using Nido Queen's Crunch um, at plus two, versus when you fight with Pikachu Nido King, it ends up being a, a two-turn, um, two-controller fight. Um, so they've pretty much nice. balanced these four out. But the time loss really comes from uh, the Clefairy fight, which is really just one term and hopefully not getting bad Metro. Okay, so Quo demonstrating why Triv uh, buried the mid arena because 90% apparently break out twice. <laughs> yeah, Triv also had a, a nice uh, gravelly party there, but wanted to, to go for that glowing one for that extra EXP. Yeah, already level 27 Pikachu, barely in the rock tunnel, that's quite high. Yeah, yeah if your Pikachu and Nido King are good enough, you can uh, 1C the Hypno fight, but that's not very often. Yeah, but did you say Nido Queen or Nido King? King. Yeah, Nido King. Yeah, it's very. You need a very good attack on either the Nido King or the Pikachu. Um. Okay, you We're also like just kind of like a quick note. Trevaria catching the Rhyhorn early on in Rock Tunnel means it's going to get a lot of experience, and we do use Rhyhorn later on one of the Je so Jesse James fight within Hideout. Um, so when you get it to level 25, it has a much better chance of having a two-turn fight because it will usually one-hit KO the Arba. 
um, and then you can help him and draw and run at plus two the wheezing. Um, so it's a much better chance. Um, better just makes it an all around better fight there. Do you helping hand you or do you just plus four? Uh, situationally, um, helping hand if you're playing risky. Um, but generally, if you one hit KO the Arbok, you should just go for helping hand. Um, but if you don't want to hit KO the Arbok, you want to use another X attack on that fight just to kind of guarantee that the third turn, when you do have to draw run the Weezing, you can get a KO with helping hand. Did Triv accidentally double kick the Kanga? That's what it looked like. No, that's a strat you can do. Yeah, that's that one strat oh, uh, where you Weezing. go X attack um, there. Yeah. Meanwhile, Wait, uh, when he halfway through Rock Tunnel, still did not have Rhyhorn or Machop. Uh, I believe Triv is only looking for Machop now. No, Triv has, Triv has Machop caught on the tracker. Oh, okay. I don't remember her catching one? Oh, I guess marked early. Because he just hit one. Yeah, we are on a, there's a slight delay on the feast, so I'll probably just mark it as soon as she saw it. Meanwhile, for Quo's Route 10, it looks like he has Nidorina, Nidoran Mail, Spiro, and Krabby here. Yep. So I guess the only other thing you could really be getting here for Quo is Rattata, but there's also so many spots in the run that you can get Rattata that it's not really necessary to get it here. There's still lots of opportunity. Yeah. Hopefully no burn. Yep, burn uh, cuts your attack in half, and we're using physical here, so it's quite bad to get. Okay. Double easy. burn is the worst. <laughs> yep, when you get burned and you heal it, and then you get burned again, it's very fun. Because you can't heal it again. Yeah, because you typically in, in Pika you don't buy burn heal, so you only have like the. The status heal, uh, Chalure Sable, and Pewter Crunchies. If you, actually, uh, wait, you don't even get the Pewter yeah, Crunchies. But if you have later. a good special attack, though, like Wave Warrior, you can actually just do this fight differently where you use the next special attack and use Thunderbolt on both of them. Oh, even. I actually didn't know about that one. Yeah, so if you so if you do get burned, like you don't have to waste the turn in battle to actually um, heal yourself. That is not the thing. We finally get in this Rhyhorn. Pretty late in the rock tunnel though, so gonna lose out on that that movement speed through rock tunnel and not gonna get a lot of EXP on it, so. What is So I thought Triv's So Chirai like a it just compares to the paper. She's choosing to do this with two controllers. Um which is it's also a pretty safe fight here. Generally, the idea is that you zip and you zap, and then you can either X attack here or just use helping hand both turns. Um, generally, if you're using X attack here on this fight, um, you want to use the second turn to heal your Pikachu off the full health. If your Pikachu is good enough, yep. um, you can skip the X attack and just zip and zap twice. Uh, yeah, that that is true. Uh, you need, I think. To guarantee it, you need about like oh. 77 attack no. though at level oh. 27. No, I don't like what I'm seeing on Wave screen right now. Yeah, but fortunately oh, for Wave, he okay. has, he's already has Ultra Ball, so does that, have, does make, that does make it better. I will be honest. It's not. It, it's still not great, but it does help. So if I, I think Triv's, Triv, Triv is 28, right? Yes, Triv is level 28. Yeah. So if I saw it correctly. Triv had 62 attacks, so it was a 18.8% chance to KO the Vulpix. Yeah, yeah um, and you're more worried about the Vulpix than you are the uh, Kadabra. I think it's a guaranteed on the Kadabra. Yeah, so could have could have tried it for the. Yeah, I think you I think you want to do it if you're like level if you have 71, it's guaranteed at the. Yes, it's 71. Yeah. No fake out. I did not see a big up. Oh, and Wave also get that the top. So Wave ended up getting uh, everything he wants here. 
gonna switch back to the Great Ball. Just so they're kind of unnecessary for my top because he's ultras. So I used to be team not throw immediately from a from chop, but now I'm team throw immediately from a chop. I just, just stop throw punching. immediately for most things, to be honest, these things. Yeah. Yeah, mo yeah, if you, yeah, I guess the general rule is if you can throw immediately on it, just do it. Um, I think maybe the one exception to the rule is Clefairy if you 100% need the experience. But most other things, if you can, go for it. When I first started playing, the Machops would all- Oh, Kang is gone! Kang is gone! Hit it! Come on, Quell! <laughs> should not- should not catch this. It's the re ball, yeah, okay, don't do that. Don't <laughs> it do this. should not do it, but... Uh, yeah, what is Quell looking for in Rock House? Still looking for that Rhyhorn. Uh... I believe also did not have Graveler Mark. Doesn't have Q Bone Mark. Does have the top Mark. Skip the Q Bone. And does have and does have the Yabat. It's possible that Quote has caught a Q Bone. It just hasn't marked it. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw a Q Bone on screen, and I saw Quote go to the Kanga Trainer instead. So maybe, okay. Well, maybe. maybe. Maybe he caught one in the room one, and just like you said, forgot to mark. We can take a look at the, the party here on this cat to see what Quo yep. has. Yep. I also want to point attention to Trevario's screen. Um, she's doing the rival war fight. Um, with the, so she's using Nido Queen here, and this is where you'll start seeing the difference between Nido King and Nido Queen stretch. On this turn, you generally want to headbutt, and like if your Pikachu needs to heal on this turn, you want to heal. Otherwise, you do want to headbutt here and hope for the um and hope for a crit here otherwise you want to headbutt and help helping hand this turn just because the oh. rival will heal but crunch should take it out so you'll see this will be a four turn fight for trevario where for wave it'll most likely be a three turn um using Nido King. Yeah, i don't even know Yeah, you don't like... you don't run any percent enough Joker to uh, have to use them. Well, I mean, I just sit and take the time off for the for the dinner and map and AOP. Still need it. What the quote does not have keybound in that box, so still looking for one here. Going for Tower Keybound. <laughs> yeah, Tower Keybound. <laughs> Actually, no, Quo is very low in Great Ball count right now. Um, that's the solid is three. It had to use one for the Life Horn at least. Um, so, so, probably two at this point. I think it was double great, so I'd expect one. Now, he was using a Great Ball Pokeball and went for um, the, uh, and did a Raspberry. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. I probably good from here with that low Whoa. rip. Okay, uh. Probably Travelers. gonna want to skip Graveler now. Nah, it's gonna be pretty bad with no great balls. Yes, it's, I I thought Quo's count was low, which is why I mentioned back on the Route 10 that maybe should have instead of double great, should have great Pokeball or it. Um, yeah. Well, he, he, also, he, he used um, them all in Route Six. Like he didn't have any coming out of Route Six. So. Yes. Well, also one thing Quo can do is like because he's about to fight um the cool trainer. I forget her name. Uh, the Sophia. Form, but Sophia. Yes. But you'll get you'll get five Ultra Balls. You can just mm -hmm. switch one of the Pokeballs yeah. to an Ultra Ball, and it's equivalent to a great double Great Ball for the catch formula. Yeah. So that that that's an option as well. Yeah, I think that uh, that's definitely what Quo should be doing here because uh, Graveler is just such a nice catch, gives uh, such a good amount of experience. The miss out on that is uh, not ideal. Okay, we're coming up. Yeah, it's time on the metronome. <laughs> horn drill. We're gonna see horn drill. 
just looking at uh, Wave and Triv are quite close right now. Triv does have one extra cat, but also does have to deal with Metronome here, so... Yeah. As long as it's not getting controlled by Metronome here, it should be okay. Going for Headbutt for first time. Kids? Lovely Ooh, kiss. Lovely kiss. Lovely kiss. We, we might be seeing that later, too. <laughs> uh, we gonna see it like... again! Thundershot can't paralyze, so he's Okay, good. Wave making up some time because it's just see wave poison drab. Oh, it's this Pikachu. 65-62. Alright, so here you'll see um Triv's going to cut this push and we're gonna we're gonna get the Firestone here. Um we're gonna eventually switch to Arcanine as the ride Pokemon um, in a little bit, but right now, like, you just want to get this Firestone here. So uh, the the trainer was looking down. If you hug the wall, she actually just can't see you. Um, so you could just yeah. hug the wall and not worry about getting spotted by her. Watch out for the gambler. It has Rhyhorn with uh, only horn drill. <laughs> That's so oh, funny. Boy. Okay, it looks like Quo is doing the the zippy zap helping hand here. Does have a, a decent level Pikachu level twenty seven here. Damn, no Porygon. No 0.5% Porygon spawn. Yo, why are we entering this center? Can you please tell me? Well, you see, there's this little, uh, there's this medium over here, and if you pay her 10,000 Poké Dollars, you can set it so that every Pokémon that spawns for the rest of the run will be modest nature. Plus why special attack and minus attack. I, I know, uh, Joker may not be familiar with that, so I thought I'd let you know. Yeah, no, thank you. I appreciate it. You're My welcome. answer is... My answer is simply get lucky and get plus special. Heck. Good idea. <laughs> Without Save it, time. You don't have to go center. into the center. Yeah. Saves less oh. time on Eevee because you're already... Oh, oh Nana Berry! Yes, yeah. super important. There's, there's hidden and hiding on the ground, so if you just start mashing A early here, you just pick up things on the ground. It's pretty fun. It's just, I, didn't, I didn't know there was a Nana Berry forever. I thought it was just like quick candy and stuff. I think there's like random... Item spawns there. I don't quite remember though. If only pick Triv picked up a smart candy or a quick candy, you could potentially have used it. Oh, Hyper Fang. Hyper Fang great. Wow, I yeah. got a lot of damage on that. They also see that Triv did this fight uh, with one controller, or Wave did it with two. Um, so I guess it's more optimal to do it with one controller if you're used in Pikachu. Uh, with, uh, if you're using Nidoking Stretch versus Nidoking Stretch. Just so you're not taking as much, just so you're not taking, like, damage on either one of them. Uh, you also don't have to summon the controller, so it's a little bit faster. Yeah, I Should think you just always go one C then? Yeah, recently, I think some people have just said to just always one C that, but I, I, I haven't, I don't Actually, think... Actually, I guess... I, I, I guess think the... if you... Go ahead, Sugar. <laughs> so I think the reason that, that... Normally you don't want to see it is because Needle King is usually in the first spot because of preparing. So you don't want to keep switching. Oh well, yeah, just, like back. people have started just doing one seat Needle King there. That's what I was saying. Oh. But it, it's definitely pretty new that people have started doing that. I think after after uh, people started doing it because you do that for Needle King, Scratch, and Eevee, and then we're like, wait, it's just find the one seat this easily. So does like poison jab always two shots? Yeah, usually two shots. But the the problem with the one sting is that uh eradicates off faster than you and it has bite. Yeah, both and... bite and hyper fang have one shield. Oh hyper fang does too, I actually didn't yes. I didn't know that. And here we see Triv uh, switching uh, from the uh, Pikachu uh, and putting Rhyhorn in front of these five. 
Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna see some uh, Rhyhorn action for the next few fights here for Triv. Uh, Rhyhorn slow but powerful with that draw run. And that, that's a fortunate Super Fang. Super Fang uh, does like, half whatever your remaining hit points is at the current time. So. Saving that hit points like on this fight in particular is just gonna help you not having to heal uh, earlier. Oh, it's just say later. Meanwhile, Quo making his way through Rattle Floor. Looks like just having a standard Nido King fight from what I can tell. Hanuk grew to level 25. Oh, learn Slam at level 25. I did not know this. Will we see Cursed uh, to leg Pikachu walk run today? I don't even know how to do that, so... <laughs> I don't either. I, I saw it, I saw Sandy do it in one of their runs during the tournament. And when I first started running this game, I would always do it, like 100% chance. But I guess I changed how what I what I do in that section, so it never happens to me anymore. It's interesting. <laughs> I don't. But there think was. Learned. I don't think I've ever seen uh, the two like Pikachu run. I also don't think I pay attention enough to Pikachu. I just want to get this section over with. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hideout is probably my least favorite section. Really? I think so. Are... Like, like Arch Two sucks, but like, you're just waiting there. Like, I don't know. Hideout's I is a section where it just like, it, it, you just have a lot of little things that go wrong. Well, mm -hmm. norm normally this is AOP, right? I just want to get to the catching. <laughs> and this is just like a 20 minute, or like what, a 10, 15 minute. Not catching. I, I, as an any percent rudder, I love hideout. Mostly because I keep, keep saying there's so many little things. For routing, hideout is the section that has like the most changes. And I think hideout really is the section that will really will separate like good runners from top runners. Because there's, there's just so many different strategies, so many different things you have to consider for pretty much every single fight. Like, I could, we could go on and on about just like every fight, like the four different strategies that you could employ for them. I kind of think, I think it's even more, I think it's more like great runners and top runners. Like, I feel like, I mean, also good to top, but like the, the separation kind of starts Route 10 and Rock Tunnel between like the good runners and the great top runners. Um, and then with Hide Out, the little things that I think that's like the, the great and the top separates there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess to your point, like about like the Route Ten Rock Tunnel being the separation. I think it's more like from a great to like like an excellent runner or good to great. It's effectively is like how how much like are you willing to just make the catching move on versus waiting around at that point? Like, if you're gonna play it more risky, you're gonna play it safer. I think that's what's separating like someone who's like say like a three oh seven runner versus someone who's like a three oh two runner of this game. Yeah. Okay, Archer one. Jesse James one. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Archer, Archer, Jesse James. James. Don't worry. <laughs> Same thing. Porygon time? No. Oh, uh, gonna go for the rat. Yeah, he doesn't right. have one yet. No one caught a Route 7 or 8 Growlithe or uh, Avra, so I can't joke about the Avra on the 9 strats. Unlucky. Yeah, let's see how Triv and Waves just Gen 1 go. Uh, Triv does have that level 25. Miss Arbok range at level 25. Yeah, so it's, it's a not very good range. So here, what you'll want to do is, if you're Triv, you're going, you want to. You actually should have, like, X attack there. Um, on the uh, Rhyhorn, because then you could have gone for a helping hand on this next turn, but because she chose to heal um, on the Nidoqueen, like this is this is practically a guaranteed four-turn fight now. 
Um, and you see, Wave is actually doing a, one of the safer strategy here of using Rowlith as a sacrifice Pokemon and doing Thunderbolts on this. this Yeah, one thing in particular to note is that Wade purposely sacrificed the, the the Growlithe. And that will be important because uh, you can still ride Pokemon that are fainted. Oops. Don't think about it too much, but uh, it's good for it to be able to ride it without it gaining levels. And Trip actually did get a three turn fight there. Um, up it, so she must have had a very bad range on the Arbok originally that missed. Um, be interested to see what Rhyhorn's attack stat was at that point. Probably somewhere around like 50, like a 50 attack at that point for that to happen. Well, Growlithe will give Revive. Um, yeah. yeah, Growlithe will give Revive right. yeah, in Tower. Sure that. It's kind of, kind of surprised Wave didn't just take out a fairy since. Well, I mean, if you have the growl from the party already, you might as well keep it get there. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to do pretty much the same thing on Jesse James 3 then. I mean, with plus special attack Pikachu, it makes sense because you're not. Especially with level 24 Rhyhorn, because it's like either way probably going to be a 3 turn fight. So it's a, was it Waves a 3 turn fight? I was it? Uh, Waves was a 4 turn. Oh, okay. But with plus special attack, you could hit the range and just make it the same as a Rhyhorn fight with three turns. Nice flamethrower on Danito. The only uh, Pokemon is my speed might matter because the gold that might be fast. No, it's, yeah, the gold that might be fast. Or just outsped anyway, easy. Yeah. Easy. All right, I'm making my way into Giovanni One now. I think it's really funny. The strat for Giovanni One is give your Pikachu the maximum number of X attacks take up Persian, and then also a helping hand to take up the Rhyhorn. If, uh, if your Pikachu is like 74 attack at 30, you can, you can just plus four helping hand, both times, um, which saves, you know, the small many times. It, it, it's, it saves like a grand total of like two seconds. Two seconds, <laughs> yep. <laughs> it was important, the most important two seconds of the run. Might also save friendship turnarounds on JJ4 or 3, but probably not. Have any of them got turnarounds? I haven't been paying attention. I, I have not, not seen any turnarounds. You're you're more likely to get turnarounds in Eevee, right? Correct, because yeah, you're you're using Eevee for a lot more of the the battles and just pumping X items into it throughout the game. Yeah, also, Eevee is a lot more super effective moves in this section than Pika does. Nice one kick crate from Triv. Easy every time. <laughs> Wonder if anyone will get the safety match revive. Whoa, Snado King on low HP, and I think Voltorb okay, usually outspeeds the King, so yeah, going for the heal. Avoid yeah, the nice. Sonic Boom anyway! Yeah. Why, why, why'd you heal? <laughs> No safety max revive. There's a max revive in the corner. I don't know if most of the runners skip it or not. If I know it is an option. Yeah, I mean, you, you do have three re uh, revives already um, that you get on the uncomfortable Route 5 scene, but uh, I don't see, really see a need to go for it. Now, Triv, I'm surprised, is actually just opting to skip these Ultra Balls down here. Um, our catch count is 33, um, but it's a little bit safer to get the five Ultra Balls on the first floor of Hideout than get the three power. Um, let's see how this plays out. 
Let's see if Wave decides to go for them. I mean, eight. Triv gets eight Ultra Balls and, like, his plan to catch Pidgey. Like, all easy stuff. The Star U would be the hardest. Um, that is true. So, makes sense. But yeah, the, the Max Revive is nice. Um, if you, like, die while Archer's Electrode's still alive, and then you can just Max Revive. Wave gonna go for those ultra balls. Yeah, yeah. Wave also, the uh, like Joker's point, does have to go for for some harder catches. Um. Mark Tenta, but didn't mark Pidgeotto. I would take Pidgeotto over Tenta all day. I yeah. if it, if it spawns, I think he'll go for Pidgeotto. Gotcha. We'll also need Psyduck, so we'll maybe have to pick between Psyduck and Pidgeotto. If uh, one of them doesn't spawn, I mean, luckily all these runners have options to Grimer and not coughing, because coughing is a lot worse. Also, um, the Trevaria lore I did not see. I don't know. I see that Wave has lore. I am a strong anti lore for Tower. -er. Yes, me too. <laughs> It's all because like, of I lure if I need Ghastly. If I don't need Ghastly, I don't lure, which means that I always get Ghastly when I don't lure. I yeah, Ghastly spawn when you don't lure, I find yeah. more often I'll... for me. I only lure if I really want to try for a Q-Bone. But I mean I should just not lure. See lure. Wait, I don't know if I don't know if Triv lures, so I can't. We'll see, see well we'll see on the level here. If it's level thirty three, oh, yeah, yeah. we know it's lured. It's oh, level thirty three, so she did lure. Um <laughs> go ahead and I'm here. Um I guess by not going uh, for the Ultra, so she's going to throw a double gray here. Um, if you go Ultra Great Ball here and just yellow throw and hit the uh, Ghastly, it's like an 83% catch. Um, so you'll see some runners just kind of go switch to Ultra Ball, switch, hit Nanab, and just throw it as fast as possible. Now. Oh, there's a knight. Rest! Let's oh, go, uh, and wave hit, wave. Got hit by the optional, the spinner. Um, well, that's why you go it. from the bottom. That's why you do it like Triv has done it. Um, yes. If you're hugging the bottom, she cannot see you. So just go, if you're really worried, just go into that corner and then just hold the wall as you're going forward. And then if you stand under her, she can't see, she doesn't turn down. You saw that she turns up and looks at wave there, but she never looks down. So you're safe right below her. Um, and then you can decide when you want to. That trainer's like one of three trainers in this game with like real vision. Yeah. Yeah. I think the old dude on far. Route Six. The old dude on Route Six has vision too. Um, and then you know there's that Route Twenty One trainer. Yeah. Yeah. Your vision. Oh my god! And got blocked. It has to go around. Yeah. Hey, we just keep getting looks on why down is better. Look, the growl is stuck. <laughs> Bye, growl. Oh, you're back. Okay, cool. Also doing uh, growl and sash rats for the I love seeing about a little puppy run. It's like my greatest joy. We won't see sucker punches. What are sucker punches? Sucker punches. What you get on? when you're running EV every single time because you don't have a priority move. <laughs> I'm still waiting getting a Haunter spawn. But, uh... They didn't have Gasly yet, right? Did I miss that completely? No, it does not have. That wave okay. does not have. Yeah, if you watch this Haunter in the battle, it's so small. But if you saw Wave's Haunter on the screen, it's so big. Yeah. And Triv going for a Hyper Potion there as a safety item. For Archer, I assume. Yeah, I'm assuming for Archer. <laughs> oh yeah. If your mice attack Pikachu, maybe. Maybe you'll see some sucker punches. <laughs> Simply do not be minus attack, in my personal opinion. Or just have high enough XP for the attack. Do like 33. <laughs> Which I think is very rare in in any percent runs. I yeah, it's pretty pretty unlikely. 
You probably need like a supersized like Graveler and maybe also a Rhyhorn. Dude, can we talk about the number of Gashies I've seen like spawn right on top of Triv? I know that's the yes. third one she's hit. <laughs> well, that's including the one she caught, but yes. Like usually having you have trouble having one spawn, but she's had like, three wait. two of them right on top of her. Yep. This is honestly like the way versus Triv's tower is like the duality <laughs> of power. Nice goal, Vap. We were just missing the tower Q vote from Wave. <laughs> like, you either wave get like a million Gastly's or zero. Okay, Pidgeo. Okay, so Wave needs like all the Route 17 catches. Yes. Oh. Um. <laughs> like really needs them all the spawn. Oh, Magmar I, is planned. Magmar. Magmar. Is Wiggy really Mark? Mark? No, I don't see a attempt to. I don't see um Tangle Mark yet. Yeah, 52 planned, so, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I was literally about to joke about Wave Mark Magmar, and then I saw him mark it in real time. It was so yeah. funny. <laughs> I also was about to comment on that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, though, since um, it's 52 planned, I wonder if he would skip Tenta and just catch Magmar? Uh, if he didn't see Tenta, then I assume so. Let me just... Let me think though, because because on an odd on odd Pokemon count, if you catch, you would have to deposit the Tenta. Um, which is the odd, I would actually think I would prefer going for Magmar just because you can get level ups and deposit Pokemon, like on the Magmar catch versus the Tentacle catch. Mm, okay. If, if he can, if he has he picked up the five Ultra, so he could also maybe potentially double Ultra the Magmar. And yeah. Yes, assuming like like the rest of the catch is going. You can also. Yeah. I, I, did he pick up the three too? Does he have thirteen or just ten? Uh, I did not see, but he doesn't have thirteen because remember he caught the Onyx earlier in the. Twelve, so it'd be twelve. And, and, yeah, you have twelve. He's going for the range? Is he going for the range? It might He's not going be for the range. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he got it. Good special attack, good level. Yeah, it might not even have been a range, because I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think it was a range at that point. See Route 17. Alright, yeah. Wave and Triv just gonna go through a couple cutscenes here. Meanwhile, we're gonna see where Quo is. Quo just beat Archer. I think it did Giovanni 1. Yeah, and we see each other evolving the Growlithe into Arcanine. So Arcanine will now be a, the ride Pokemon of choice. Arcanine is a lot faster to ride than Rhyhorn is. And there, there are also other benefits uh, that we may see um, by riding Arcanine. Because it's so fast, um, uh, you don't have to necessarily evolve uh, Pony into, on, into Rapidash on Route 17. Um, so, in doing so, if you level it up through a catch experience as opposed to a rare candy, you can uh, you can avoid having to get a rare candy later on, saving it about five seconds worth of time. Um, so, like little small benefits, just like in addition to having it's... the increased speed. I see a frozen. Yeah, Triv is uh, frozen right now. Um, Um, we'll see what's going on with that. But so if so, you saw you kind of dismount when you go past the fly wrap. If you don't remount your ride Pokemon and you're at the bottom of the road here, you can skip Brock because um, his trigger is not that far down. But usually you just remount the ride Pokemon so you hit the trigger anyway. Um, yeah, we will get an update on Triv hopefully soon. Shiny Snorlax from Wave? Question mark. <laughs> I have to mention it every time now. Yeah. I have gotten the Shiny Snorlax here before. Uh, Matt did it in the AOP run the other day, so that's why. Yeah, I keep if you get up. shiny, you kind of have to like, you kind of have to uh, end the run and go for it. <laughs> if you're doing. No, maybe uh, not here. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not right this second, but. 
See if Paul picks up the extra ultras. It's uh, not. Not going to. I think Flo's count is pretty good. We got 36. Yeah, Flo's count is pretty yeah. good. He probably doesn't need some. See the big Arcanine. So when you're doing the skip, do not pick up the Pokeball. <laughs> oh, um, yes. Do not pick up the Pokeball because you cannot I mean, read this map. The Arcanine. <laughs> um, you can... If, if you do pick up the Pokeball for whatever reason, just manually dismount the Arcanine. But that's slower. But it's, it's also way better than hitting the trainer. So you want to do that. <laughs> nice Doduo. I was thinking about immediate Doduo. Double Great, yeah, which yeah, should be fine. Yeah, immediate Doduo. Uh, and also jump and play level. I think it's like 90% Double Greats. Excellent. Uh, so even yeah, though we yeah. don't have trip speed we i at least i can still see the tracker for whip for trip on a side up so yeah behind a side up marked right now so I'll, I'll we can get updates on that as we get through here nice toe trio spawn totally need that side up going back There's to the side duck up. for wave now you mean a fish I'm not gonna entertain that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the silence was entertaining enough. Yo, Triv is back! Triv is back! Let's go! Thank you, Duck. Yeah. yeah, and to answer your question from earlier, uh, Wave did not go for the Ultra Balls in uh, tower, in tower, so he now has eight. Oh, oh Pony! Nice! Nice. So just need the do do Duo. Could skip it. Could skip it and go for Penna. Pidgey. Oh, and Pidgey, yeah. Trip doesn't even have Pidgey on the plan right now. So that's yeah. definitely an option. To go for Pidgey or Pidgeotto. Um. Uh huh. Lots of options here. Oh, nice Ponyta for Wave. Wave just wants a Pidgeotto. Okay, I didn't. I did not see Quo Lord for Tower. I didn't either. But let's see if Quo can get a Gastly. Uh, it's fine. It's not that necessary for Quo to get Gastly. Counts yeah. already pretty good, but it, it'd be a nice little thing. Nice cool bat. Cool bat instead. Okay, Quo somehow the the spinner was looking up, but Quo did not. I think it's Quo was hugging the wall on the on the left side. Um, so her vision only go, like, goes up to where that break is, like where like where you can start going past like the first like set of graves. Triv is the Triv here, Doduo? Triv, Triv like you can't wait the for the Doduo. Might as well go for the Pidgey here. Just go for the Pidgey. Yeah. Yeah, and Triv is unmarked Doduo. Oh, uh, she got motion controlled. <laughs> just, get it's still, it's just get in. Just get in. Yeah. Easy. It is a Pidgey. So. It is a Pidgey, so. So that worked out. He got a whopping 194 experience from a level of 30. 39. <laughs> so we are waiting for a. Uh... Oh, the Eevee spawn. She should go for that. No. No, she's not going for Eevee. No, she could double oh, ultra that, silver double, raz, and it's like that, ninety something. Double ultra, ultra so raz, it, and then just trip, and then double evolve the uh, Pidgey. <laughs> Edge count, Genius. like straight horses back feet, basic back feet. So uh, now that Triv does not have Dodrio, that means that she doesn't have the option to use Dodrio for uh, the Executor fight later on. So fire blast, fire so have to blast, hit a fire blast there. Easy. First fire blast is off. Oh wait! Magmar is Mark. Magmar is oh. Mark. Getting oh, Pidgey on Pidgey on. Actually, yeah, oh yeah, evolving Pidgey all the way up and getting the Magmar. That's a good fly, I think. Yeah. Can double right. ultra silver rat. Anything probably. is better than a tentacle. No no. She unmarked Grimer, so no Grimer. She unmarked Tentacle Grimer. wasn't Yeah, unmarked Grimer. Oh okay. I would still just go for Grimer and deposit then. 
I, probably I, wants I, probably wants to do safer Magmar strats compared to. Um, I, in what world is Magmar safer than Primer? Magmar safer than Fire Punch. You Fire Punch on. Exit, exit. Oh, you Fire Punch. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a new thing that uh some some people enjoy. Won't name names. It might be the person that two sees Bruno. Bruno Bruno's Double star use! Double star. Will Wave regret getting this one. Let's see. 1055. 1055. I, I have a question for you two, and I'm curious what your thoughts are on this. If uh -huh. you kinda get if you got two stars spawning right there, and then the first star you get is like a thousand CP. Would you run from the first star? Depends. AOP, yes. Uh, if because... it's a, if it's a thousand, like how you can talk about how low we have to go. Yeah, if like it's how a bad thousand? Possibly. Hey, okay. <laughs> I'm of the opinion just like I just deal with what I get, and if the run dies, the run dies. Um, yeah. I guess in a race setting, I guess. In a race I, setting, I, I guess you can go for it. Race, Wait, it depends race. on on where my opponents are. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so, like, AOP runs, I, I would do it because that, like, minute really doesn't matter. Triv is waiting for a star. Nice. Triv, no hot cat in this. I'm on there. There it go. is. Okay. Oh, I can't too long. Yeah, that was awful. Let's see what it is. Yeah, Please reward know. the wait time. Yeah, I don't know. And 1093. 1093. 1093. It's a good start. Well, let's well, let's see what happens. When this CP's alive. Yeah, but worry about where Wave Warrior is right now. If you don't see a star by then, and you still have like a repel, um, like it's really good, like option to actually just use the repel and lure here just so like you can like reset let's the let's see wave stats wave stats are they're fine they're, they're, they're good good start uh good it's pretty high speed pretty good special attack like not amazing but it's good it's it's not cracked but it but we take these yeah for sure okay let's see each of star oh well, the uh, Pidgey should evolve with uh, Magmar. Yeah, with the Magmar EXP, and I think that's the, kind of the, the theory behind it, that you, you want to get the Magmar EXP for the Pidgey. Causing the Arcanine. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh, uh, speed slow, is slow. 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 Defenses, about the same um, special attack. Those are Wait. better. At yeah, yeah, I think it's just it's just slower, but it's only gonna play situationally play in one fight. Um, yeah. It's a better better special attack. Yeah, I think I think if you're Triv, you definitely take the star. I think the only speed problem is gonna be Rapidash, which isn't really too much of a problem. Yeah, it's only a problem it's if you get like trolled in other parts of a fight as well. It's only a problem if you can't outspeed uh, Bolt. Both what is, uh, wave, wave is waiting for Tenta, I'm assuming. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. He, yeah, he needs the Tenta. Tenta. Oh, yeah. Nice Tenta Cruel. Yeah, nice I don't know, Star you. I don't know if he repelled yet. Um, oh. Does he even have a repel? Something spawned on the left there. I didn't see what it was. I didn't see it. And he's out of lures. He's so. not have a lure. Unmarked. Going for the tentacruel, 49. I... Wait, what, what's the strat here? Uh, chuck and pray. <laughs> Wait for it to stop. <laughs> Question mark. Turf Magmar, Turf Magmar. Yep. D uh, it's a great. That's the last. Okay. That was motion. Oh, Triv got motion control. I am seeing some truly cursed things on the stream right now. Yes, yeah, we are. A Magmar break broke out here. Triv, double ultras. This, Switch. this is your last catch. This is your last catch. Oh, okay. that's, that's fairly likely to get in. 70 for, something. For, for Triv, at least. I think it's like mid 70s. And wave to catch the tentacle. No. Nope. Yep, yep. You gotta, oh switch the, you gotta switch the double. Switch the ultras. Switch the double ultras. Switch yeah, ultras. now it's gonna go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, only we a regular are... Raz, though, so... 
<laughs> Wait, what's Wave's plan now? I... That's a great question. Uh... Ditto? <laughs> Uh, running. Okay. Yeah, running. All right. She's gonna go for the grimer. She go for the grimer. There's the grimer. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was. <laughs> oh, there's another man. Let's see what. That was really was. unlucky for Fib. Honestly, I think that was yeah. really unlucky. It was like but I always felt like the fire, the fire blast play was safer, in my opinion, than going for a magmar. Either way. Um, well, she if if it was just silver raz, yeah, double ultras, then. 88%, so it's 12%. Um, wait, assuming wait. assuming oh. you execute correctly. She got motion control on the first one. Yeah. What are these cursed ca and catch it? Well, I guess if if, if if Pidgey doesn't get Pidgey on, Grimer should get Muck. If it's in the party. Yeah, that's yeah. what I would assume. Anyway, close just casually on Rack 17. Got a duck. I don't believe has a pony or a duo yet. Near the bottom, so not what you want. Rap -dash. Rap -dash. It's rapid dash. Already, yeah. already has a There's no duo. Okay. Which? Uh, he he can't get Pidgey because he already got one. Yeah. Which uh, speaking of rapid dash, I think if you actually can catch rapid dash in Eevee version over Ponyta, I think it's actually optimal. With Silver Raz, it's not bad. Catch. Yeah, with Silver Raz, it's pretty guess, but you also save the menu and having the rare candy. I think it's actually like speed optimal if you catch rapid yeah. dash. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, is Poe gonna wait for the? Oh, there's a pony. Okay. Okay, so so is Wave gonna yolo the Avra at route seven? What? Yeah, so Wave like have forty nine. Does he have a okay. choice? Or, I mean, let's see, what does he have in terms of other, like... Oh, could see, could get Ditto. Yeah, let's uh, see. There's still a chance for Ditto. I would check, well, he has, he also has a Clefairy catch and a Jigglypuff. He could just go get the, get the moonstone. Uh, moon, moon, moonstone from the Mimic house. Yeah. Could do that. I hope we don't say, don't see Ditto. That is so bad. I hate Ditto. Well, just get the five silver razzes right before Ted. No, Ditto is so bad. <laughs> but like this, I guess I guess the Moonstone would be the op. Th does Wave know about the Moonstone? Surely. I feel uh, like it's not. I feel like that's not a Shirley. Answer. I mean, it isn't the Moonstone also present in the Fire Red Leaf Green? There, I, so I'm not oh, sure. Nice well, rapid dash. Nice rapid dash. Oh, it's <laughs> rapid dash. Where did it come from? Going for it. Wait, 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 wait. What am I saying here? What am hey, I saying is... here? If it hits, excellent. It's fairly likely. Yeah. A uh, wave did sell fossil fury. Oh, Trip does have the fossil backup. Didn't yeah. need it. But... Okay, got the rapid dash. Easy. Yeah, with silver res, it's it's really mm. not, not bad. Get Holy time, did level there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you can deposit from Cubone and oh my god, genius from Quo. Yep. I have seen some interesting catches over the last five minutes, so I'll definitely say that. <laughs> okay, no Dodrio, so is Wave just intentionally going for fire blasts? Uh, I'm, I'm I guess about so. it. I'm about it. Has a Magmar, no Magmar strats. Sorry to the Magmar enthusiasts. Grim is... at the end of match and a 12 on right 17, but they have the same catch count. <laughs> uh, that can definitely happen in this game, a lot of variants. Uh, Triv also doesn't. Does she have everything marked? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, the pony. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm. It's just... Is Grimer still in the party? Uh, so she's gonna... So she's yeah. evolving the uh, pony that here with rare candy. Um, oh, which is smart. Yeah. This just should be noted here that, you like, like, even though she got Pidgey and only really got the Grimer catch for it, like, it should... You should still get enough EXP to get it to a Pidgeot because 
Pidgey is past its like normal level evolution, and so is P Pidgeotto, so they will get an experience boost. From, like, even though like they aren't participating in the battle. Ditto! It's going! It's happening! It's happening! <laughs> <There's> ditto! <laughs> it's okay, ditto. Well, I just got in, and my okay, did it fine. <laughs> Doesn't have so okay. Please double ultra. Double ultra. Please double ultra. You got one chance. You got one really, chance. One chance. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is like this should be like seventy something percent. Okay. Just get it. Just get it. Let me try. Okay. Easy. 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 Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what a what a catch out from. From Wave. <laughs> I that is this is one of the cast reps of all time. I will certainly say that. <laughs> Tentacruel Ditto. No Fiero. No 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 gold mat. No Bell Sprout actually, I just noticed. What? Well Oh wait, this, this is Pikachu. This, this, this is Pikachu. Never mind. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think any of them have Bell Sprout actually. I don't think yeah, I don't think any of them have Bell Sprout, you're right. <laughs> I feel like if you're not taking the bed heal, you can just keep Arcanine in your party if you have the space for it. Um, and then maybe uh, buy, uh, buy, buy Erica Pony Evolves because you can just switch Rapidash in the, one of the fly menus. Could, you could do that instead? You, you could do that. Um, Arcanine will get revived after the Archer 2 fight. Yeah, but so I like, think but it, it'll like most gain 2 levels. So. No, it'll be dead if you don't. No, no but it's revived after Arc 2, unless you're depositing Arcanine. At yeah, the yeah, end. no. Yeah, I'm saying like on on one of the on either the Lieutenant Surge fly menu or the Erica fly menu, you could just put back put in Rapid Dash and take out. It, assuming it like switches to your right instead of using the candy. Yeah. So one thing that I've been talking about with that people are talking about in chat right now is that in Pika version, instead of picking up that Max Elixir in the basement, you pick up the Ether and Route 25. And it's not only faster to pick up the Ether on Route 25, but it also helps set up uh, your X item menu better. Uh, the I... reason you don't do that on Eevee is because you are. Um, because Find you buy status. burn heals, like more status healing item. I mean, that if you picked up the ether as well, then you wouldn't have the good menu. Well, yeah, it does depend on, like, if you're doing safety stress for, like, a race. Um, I've seen some runners buy a burn heal in Pikachu um, for, for just for safety. Um, it would be optimal to not actually use that ether for, for menu purposes. If you're buying 1037? 1037? For Quill? 1037. Not great, but... Hopefully, those stats are just in the right places. Uh, did did uh, Triv get perfect playing? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I did not see uh, if she had the heal um, the confusion or not. Because Wave did not. Okay, so Quo only needs a... Grimer left, and then we're done with catching. <laughs> no curse, no more curse. Though. But somehow, like with this, like with this, like double curse catch route, they're still really close. Um, yeah, I'd say Triv is probably maybe about like ten seconds ahead if you're factoring in the catch. Uh, maybe twenty, but. All in all, like, they're still, this is still, like, anyone's race between the two. Oh, whoa, well, stars, pretty good. 88.92 at level 45. <laughs> Joker getting a call to talk about, uh, how good that star is. Venice, yeah, for a 10 set 37, that's a really good start to see from Quo. Hey, everyone just almost found out my last name. Um, <laughs> because it says who calls. Were they asking about you. your car's extended warranty? No, that was my mom that called. 
<laughs> no, I muted, so you didn't hear what my mom's name was. Your mom's name's not just mom. <laughs> what? Damn, trip perfect hands? I can't believe. Wow, yeah, yeah, I can't believe. <laughs> uh, the most overused yeah. joke that I say, like, all the time. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so we're gonna be looking for that Grimer. Easy for Grimer. Grimer catch. Easy. Nope. Nothing cursed from close. I, I'm so thankful. Silver Raz, hey, Double on, Ultras is, is like... Oh, you... You're just That's going fine. onesie. Okay. Sure, right, keep getting it's Silver Res Ultra Light. That yeah, should be yeah, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> that should be pretty good because it's a. Uh... You take that. Okay, did Chloe use four candies on the star? Level 47 right now. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Just that's fine. <laughs> well, you get a little bit more friendship if you do if you use four candies now, but uh, it's not like that big of a deal. Yo, know, don't worry, my sister's not home, so you won't hear her. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna oh. face Aspect. I'm gonna get an L during the draw stream when I draw Aspect. <sighs> Those are sick dodges from Flo, that are dodging the Muck and the Rat to get to that yep. switch. And so the like Grimer to get, to get to the ladder. Mm -hmm. he... Oh, you said the stats are good. So. Oh yeah, the stats are, uh, it was... 90-94 at level 46, are you? So everything else sucks. I, I guess, probably. <laughs> but, yeah. But that's the matter, we're good. The defense, special defense, attack, HP, all are all bad. We take we take it. 100%. Yeah, doing the out. safer... Doing the safer... Um, Ted Strat by sacking the Dodrio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if you have the Dodri out, it's like super duper likely for the Electra to target it, and the Mace Army can't get like hit or paralyzed by it. But you do waste the time of having to see the feint and then sending in another Pokemon, as opposed to just having a Rapidash or Ponyta as your partner. Yeah, so we're in like the final hour ish of the run. Um, so just to mention, we will be doing draws right after. Um, I think Amber and I will are doing them. I think Keith is leaving. Um, uh, I'll, I'll message you, Joey. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see what happens, but... Um, we'll see who, what's going on with that. I don't know if any of the runners want to stay. I don't know if we want the runners to stay. But the, and, and we, we know the draws will be after the race. Yep, make sure you stick around. Just get ever, just invite literally the entire Discord into the call. Great idea. <laughs> We're gonna have like a 40 person. Oh, Quo trying to make that spinner pass. Just barely doesn't. Oh no, this is Electabuzz? <laughs> is this just a dev? <laughs> this is, uh, to see and pray, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Head Bob Strats just hit pumps. <laughs> Or just live on Power of Love, even though you don't have it yet? You don't even have Power of Love yet. Yeah, you don't have enough friendship here. Uh... Just... Win, in my opinion. Let me just have... Easy, okay. You just out just out to just out speed it. I wonder what the speed on that electric device is. I wonder if I'll be able to find it. Uh, me. We can't find it. I'll, I can find it right now. Okay, great. Cause Quo probably has like I don't know. I assume like mid 120 speed based on the stats I saw before the evolution. That's science. So that has 124 speed. I think Cloak probably just barely outsped that then. Or maybe even she died it. Yeah, I died. Alright, now let's see. Trey doing uh, the Erica fight here. Which is, it's a pretty simple, just clicks like it three times and end the fight. Um, 
not really too much that goes on with the Surge and the Erica fight. Yeah, all, all three of them also right now getting the next Oh, really? The, yeah, so he must have been doing, yeah, I think earlier in the game he was doing a safe, the safer strategy, um, where you don't grab the ether in you, so you do need the next one. Oh, Quo bought the burn heal in Pewter, right? Yes, he bought yeah. the burn heal. He also sold, like, he sold, like, whatever his Pokeball count minus 10 was, um, at that point. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see the Pidgey evolving after um, the Erica fight. So the so Triv can evolve like either the Grimer or the Pidgey, the Pidgey and the Pidgey. Um. Okay, yeah. So all of our runners having 47 right now. So basically, all of them will be getting. Uh, one more evolution and then picking up the gift Lapras and Porygon after self coat to round out that 50. Porygon. Again? Where? There's a Porygon for on wave screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Could have caught it, in my opinion. Anyways, these two will be coming into their uh, blue fights, where we're gonna be seeing some fire blast action. So, this Executor, like Starmie, has no chance against. So, you have to use a partner for it. And these two will be using uh, Rapidash's Fire Blast to take it out. It's 85% accurate. Uh, if you miss it, uh, well, just don't miss. Don't worry, you just never miss. You know, like like half my advice in this commentary, just simply be lucky. I yeah, I agree. Alright, so we're seeing the fire. See your fire blast hit. Um, easy. Right, good. Easy. All right. So in this situation, um, if fire blast does miss. Uh, like, you actually want to X special and go for Fire Blast again, and then X special the Starmie and go for Hydro Pump. Um, because the light, because generally the Executor will use Light Screen, and you won't hit the ranges with just one X special attack at that point. Could also just power with you know, the Starmie, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not actually sure. I've, I've never, I've never seen that. Uh, exactly. Floor eleven. New interesting strats. Oh, the... I've actually never seen that floor. I didn't know. It like that. I mean, that's the floor that you fight Giovanni on. It's just the at the top part. You don't. Oh. Uh, well, this is that was just a nip to get a good archer turn one. Anyways, uh, Bad Archer. Everyone's favorite fight in the game. Yeah, uh, every turn great. takes like a billion years. Great. You can like make a sandwich, take a shower, come back, and still be. So let's see what we get from our uh, two runners here. I always lose track of turns because it takes so long, and I get bored. Still waiting for this turn to happen. And protect self destruct. Protect self destruct. It's probably the second worst turn I could possibly have. It's the worst. Well, Thunderbolt protects worse. 
Thunderbolt? Like Thunderbolt oh, yeah. Protect? Yes, Thunderbolt Protect. I yeah. never seen I, anyone get that. I think I saw someone get it once. I, I got it and immediately reset. Like, <laughs> That's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> I was like, nope, I'm not sitting through eight turns. <laughs> oh Unfortunately, didn't get the um, focus energy from Cubone on that turn, just so you know, he uh, won't focus energy on this turn. What did Wave? Oh, look like Wave got Thunderbolt. Yeah, Wave got Thunderbolt, um, but did not have Protect. This turn so... two? Yeah. yeah, so Rip? Wave has a chance to have okay. a four turn fight here. Uh, ooh, that's not great. You actually kind of want the Electro to boom there because it. Does some chip damage on the Raticate. Yeah, yeah no. Boom. Interesting. Probably gonna have to heal unless this defense. Yeah, it is will have to heal at some point. Um, no, not if it just. You get punches. really lucky. Yeah. You can not you get heal, but. Lucky, but no, no. Yeah. Has to heal. Meanwhile, so either like Triv or Wave having good Archer fights right now. <laughs> well, for a race, I'll take Trivs. I think it was five. Ended up being five turns. I think it was five turns. Yes. So I'll take Trivs. Um, but Wave's having waves. a time. Yeah. Don't get defense dropped, in my opinion, and it's like fine. Oh, like I feel like I, I feel like a lot of defense. At least the Braticate is dead. Yes. Yep. And now you just take out the gold back. Easy peasy. Does Does Wave still have wheezing? I can't. I can barely see the Pokeball. No. That was the last one. I'm fairly confident. Yeah, Wave already took out Weezing. Okay. Yeah. 131 speed. Update on Quo. Quo is going through the maze that is Erica's gym. The blind maze. People can't see. They all need glasses. Yeah. Yeah. The the vision of all these trainers is very narrow. Hopefully, Quo is a good archer fight. Have we gotten a, a three turn archer fight this tournament? Yeah. I don't remember who, but somebody has. Just like, statistically, somebody has. Right? Well, you would think, but... Oh yeah, Sheep in round two got a three turn. Yeah, the, the duality of Sheep's archers. Oh, uh, okay. Just like, the worst archer it's of all time round one, and then get three turn round two. <laughs> was it worse than Sandy's round one archer? Because Sandy's yeah. was awful. Oh, Ergo, yep, Ergo got a three turn. You think I would remember that three turns? Like, I was literally on comms for that, but. <laughs> Wait, Season Sheeps was worse than Sandy's round one? With like six. six or seven. six Thunderbolts? Uh, I don't remember. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> okay, no Paralyze on the Starmie. I mean, I didn't actually see Sandy's round one. Archer. It was like six straight Thunderbolts, and Sandy al almost ran had like seven super potions and ended with one. Incredible. Okay, so it's like Griff getting her 48 now. Okay, okay, never mind. Let's see how close Griff and the Wave are right now. It's just a few seconds apart for them. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like five seconds apart for these two right now. Yeah. Which is think, honestly exactly what I expected from this this race. <laughs> yeah. Also, I think Trip also still has the uh, the Pidgeotto in her party. Um, and so no. she's got to be careful that it doesn't like get an extra level. Extra level. No. Like no. Deposit. And deposit it. Deposit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Three Pokemon. Yeah. She deposited. It was really close. 
I was also expecting it to be like this close between those two. Both with good start people that I remember, so uh Will Triv outspeed the Pidgeot? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's fine, her speed's not that bad. I think she's I think she like speed high rap dash or something. Okay, now Quoa through uh, a gym leader gauntlet is going to be heading into blue. I assume that Quo is going to be doing Dodrio for blue, but I haven't actually been looking to see who puts in that second slot. Uh, I was also... Oh, okay. We're fine. <laughs> Some uh, non-smoothness, but it's still here. <laughs> Driven way, we're just gonna be going to get home. Gosh, it's like one second apart. <laughs> Yo, the teleporters might sway the leads back and forth, depending on how good they are. Yeah. And the shopping menu too, as well. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Lapras first or Candy first? Well, I don't there. think I don't think Triff needs to get the uh, candy. No, Triff Triff's a uh, candy pony tot. Oh, she can't you know. pair this. She does. I don't think either way might not have to. Both okay, Lapras first. first. Boo! Yes, unless, unless they're not getting the candy. Yeah, <laughs> if they're not getting the candy, it's fine. Also, yeah, Quo doing that Dodrio blue fight, uh, you don't have to hit an yeah. 80s fight. Yeah, yeah. Wave's not getting it. Oh, Wave's not getting it, so... Take the lead, then. I think Wave had a better elevator entry, too. Yeah, elevator entries are similar to the teleporters, where if you kind of, like, face the center of the elevator, then you don't get a turn. Okay, Archer fight for Quill. Come on, Quill. If only we could two control our Archer. <laughs> I don't know if that would do much, but... If you could control your partner in Archer, oh my gosh, that would be so much better. Just click boomerang no. the whole time. <laughs> well, also, it not being a level 36 Cubone would probably help. True. Could have been Marowak. Okay, let's see turn one. A Starry's not full health. Okay, one thing I noticed is that Quo has not fought their bolt yet. Don't know if that was on purpose or not, because sometimes recover on this fight can help. Thunderbolt, no protect? Oh wait, that's usual. Never mind. Yeah, I was wondering why, what, what you were surprised by. I don't know what I, I don't know what I was surprised by. Did Quo in, come into this fight with full HP? I don't think No, that. it wasn't full. Oh, not that's cool. not great. I was in the middle of saying, like, it wasn't fully you. Okay, easy. Okay. Well, so... Okay, if, if, if Cubo... I know it's really bad. Okay, okay, yeah. Four or five turn, depending on Weezing Protect. Yeah. Alright, so that was good, fight. I think. Yeah, if you get one Thunderbolt, you prefer seeing Thunderbolt on turn one because of this. Okay, let's see, we'll- oh! Triv missed that TP. Will Triv... Will Triv go from the top on this one, or go from the left side? The left side. I think Wave has better teleports. Alright, now on to Sabrina. Uh, so actually, like, one interesting thing, I saw Headbob do this yesterday, and I think Wave has a chance to do it too. Since Wave is already level 48, you get not light screen turn one. Wave could off the Hydro Pump, uh, Mr. Mime to KO it, and then just 
use an extra, a second extra special on Alakazam and then see from there. We'll see what happens though. Usually you get light screen turn one. Yep. Yeah, I guess what happens with the speed interaction though? Uh, <laughs> you just... You, the only thing that you don't outspeed is Alakazam, and Alakazam doesn't do like that much damage to you, so you can just go. Okay, wait, does it have like Nightshade? It has Nightshade and Psychic. Okay. <laughs> and a lot of the time, Nightshade does more. Yeah. Alright, that makes sense. Okay, so Waves having a pretty standard fight. Wolf a little bit, yeah. Yeah, both of them are having a standard fight. Wave had to heal, I saw. 44 ditto, yeah! Yeah, I think we've got a, a special defense drop early. I'm going to have a better uh, menu after Spring because this menu is kind of funky. You have a lot to do. Okay, so is Quo going to pull a meat and not teach Thunderbolt for Sabrina? I... I hope that he teaches Thunderbolt. That would be really good. <laughs> if you see some pumps on Slowbro? Okay, let's see what Koga... Let's see what Kaden and Koga say to uh, Wave of True. Kaden's a real gym leader. Yep. One thing I'm wondering, if Wave is pretty high level 48, I'm just curious about like if you would still hit level 53 for Dragonite if you just didn't candy here at all. Like, I, I think if you if you were just touching, like just not touching level 49, I think you would be. Yeah, I think we'll wage a little bit too low for that, but I'm not actually sure. I know if you candy after Caden, it's still fine. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's a situation if you can do it. Yeah, I wouldn't risk it if I was in a wave situation anyways, so. Health candies from Ditto or something. What was trip speed? Uh, I didn't see it as that one, but on the, the level 48, it was 122. So 50 should let Triv out speed, though? Yeah, Triv out speed. It's still lower. 125 speed, so it's still lower. No, but uh, um, if you level 46 star you, if you have 87 plus speed, you have speed. Pidgeot always. And Triff at 88 there. Okay. So I guess we'll get like three speed on the level up. Uh, yeah, well, you get, a, uh, you get a, a friendship boost from, uh, I think it's the Koga fight that puts you over 128 friendship. No kick by Koga for Wave. Let's go. Oh, I think got regular fake out from the Persian, so... Oh, on the invis- okay, let's see what Caden says. So, wait, Caden, you're always setting up to plus two special attack here, but you want to hopefully avoid minimize turn. Ideally, you like to see protect here. Usually it protects. Okay. Yep, easy fight. Easy fight. Two trim gets. Easy fight. Also easy fight. <laughs> Alright, now that's really just about how many protects we see in this gym. Ooh, no beat drop. No protect from Gaden on the beat drill for wave. That's pretty unlikely. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Then there's a protect. Alright. Quo wrapping up his 50. Gonna be grabbing this Lapras and then Porygon. Okay, let's see what 
Okay, yes, ca this candy first. Let's go. I'm a big candy first enjoyer. Although I don't, I don't really know if Bo really needs this candy. I think he also picked up a mansion one that I saw. Right, it might be playing with the safer strategies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice elevator entry. Yep. Oh, quit. Oh. Quit, yeah, though. It's so yep. easy. I gotta hit up to there to go to the first floor, but if you hit up, up. Yeah. It's the, or if, like, it, it's going like in. So, so, this is the one time you want to see explosion turn one here, but rarely does it ever explode. Okay, good good turn for Wave. Not toxic. Have we seen an explosion this tournament? I, I feel like we saw I one. I believe we have. I have seen an explosion recently. I think it was in the tournament. Good for true. No protect for Venomoth, looks like? Yeah. yeah. No poisons from, from either of these fights for these two as well, which is nice to see. Did Triv... Triv and uh, Wave both elixir after, right? I was not paying attention to that. I, I, well, we can, we can tell by the Psychic count right now. I know Wave, I know Wave did already elixir. I couldn't tell with Triv. Uh, I think she elixir, based on the okay. count. Yeah, she has seven. Definitely elixir. Is that double protect? Or was that just... I'm gonna try to protect again. So I think both Triv and Wave didn't get Venom protects. Both got... Um, both got Golbat and Muck protects. Yeah, they had pretty... Pretty similar fights. Um, Triv lost, I would say, about five seconds here due to the Beedrill protect. they both do early teeth? Yes. Uh, they both did early teeth, yeah. Let's see uh, what kind of geo stress they decide to do. Yeah, I'm expecting them to both do the rest of the stress. I hmm, kind of think safe. I I think they should do safe stress here. But... Because I don't think... I don't think they should play to win. I think they should just play to the upper. I guess what pace are they about right now? Um, I'm thinking like 306, -ish, maybe 307 right now. Like I think I think they should just play to beat Head Bob, so they're still an upper. Unless they really don't want to face um, the people in pot one or two. I mean, it's, it's like, doesn't it, it, matter, right? Right. Wait, Triv is looks right now. Did Triv... Huh? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You used two on Jesse Dan, and then Triv used the one on Mach. Uh, on okay. eight, like, and then he had seven when we looked during the okay. Koga fight, because he so this... had high special attacks if he could stall from other things. We'll see what they do, but I think, uh... Yeah. It, it might be tight with safe strats, though, so, uh... We'll, they'll know when they get closer if they have to do all mm -hmm. the safe stuff. And there's Quo headed into Sabrina right now. We'll see uh, what light screen turn we get. Turn one. Standard fight then. Wait, did Quo teach Thunderbolt? Uh, I did not pay attention. That is... We'll, we'll see in the second one. Well. <laughs> no, no did, did not. not. Did not. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting time. The Joker special. <laughs> when Just is like the realization? Probably still on need... the slow bro, I'll be honest. I think that's when I realized. <laughs> Needs fine. We'll need to heal. 
I wonder if we're gonna see the accidental Pandora recover here. I mean, that'd be fine too, right? Yeah, I guess that'd be okay. Yep. <laughs> yep, there, <laughs> yep, there, there we go! There we go! There we go! I mean, that's There's fine. There's the realization. Hey, yeah. okay. pump it! Pump it! Pump it! You don't need... Okay, you... Yeah. That's whatever. I really don't need to do that. Really didn't need Pump to do it. That. Pump it. Yes, oh. yes, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, 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 well, take him to sleep. Yeah. Well, Can Jinx do anything? Probably not. It would probably send it out lack. It probably can't do anything. If I were to assume. Okay. To see uh, Samuel on wave screen. Still has the awakening, so. Yeah, can't do yeah, anything. That's okay. Good. That's fine. And two C for Kavaria as well. Okay, made it through. Easy. Yeah, with the moves that Serene's folks have, you're not really worried, worried about death, it's just time loss. Okay, now no teach. Uh, is that the third time that's happened this tournament? I think JT did it too. On Saturday? It's happened a couple of times now. <laughs> I was the innovator. Let it be known. <laughs> yeah, I'll give all the credit to you. Thank you. Okay, early. Alright, let's see what Giovanni Smack they decide to go for, whether it's the one controller or the two controller fights. Fifth level 51 star? Level Wave 51 going star. Wave is going for 1C. Okay. Let's see what trip. Also okay. one me. Oh, Trim nope, two 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 That's kind of what I expected, to be honest. Alright, so we get to see the difference between these fights now. One C, you have to set up the X defense and X special, and get hit by Doug Tree a few times. Or with the two C, you uh, basically just four turns the fight and have Rabidash die turn one. Okay. Easy. Okay. Alright, wait, wave is through. We just need to stall the rest of the way. Okay. Grab your side. No okay. power of love for Rapid Ash. That's good to see. You don't want it to live there, actually. But that does mean that you will have to heal it after. Yeah. The wave wave will also have to heal it. Okay, Kaden, come on, no minnow. Moonblast. Okay. Ooh, with a special attack drop. So, uh. No protect. Skull will, might not kill the yeah. B drill. So. So 50 point, though. Yeah. 50, right? 50? Yeah, if you get the my special attack drop here on the Kaden fight from the Moonblast, you have to psychic drill. Even at 50? Well, he's at 51. Yeah. So, probably not 51. Hopefully he has enough Psychic, because it looks so early. Still no T-Bolt, apparently? Yeah, you don't actually need to use T-Bolt again for a um, Well, until the Pidgeot, right? Yeah. You don't even need to use T-Bolt on the Pidgeot. It's Hydro Pump. You need it for Lorelei, though. So. Yes, you need it for Lorelei. And Carol and so and uh, Hypno. We don't need it for Hypno. You can just stall it. Little well, Slowbro, I guess. Oh, Slowbro. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> anyway, these were <laughs> Trip and Wave still close. Yeah, Trip gonna do her menu now. Wave, I believe, still needs to heal. Yes, did not heal. 
Unless I also missed it, but I'm fairly confident. I, I think he did heal, uh, based on the timing. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, you ready to see some Blizzard strats? Oh! I know, so we're losing the trip again. Hey, yo. We'll get back soon, hopefully. I mean, we're not at the exciting stuff yet, so... Yeah, I we're mean, for these two runners... Speeds. I mean, for these two runners, they should be pretty standard Rival 5 fights. Nothing too exciting here. Uh, Cole has three psychics. <laughs> you need four. Cole has three psychics right now? Is Cole nope. Elixir yet? Yep, Cole Elixir now for Oh, uh, do you need four? That's what the note said, I don't know. If uh, you should only need psychic for, let me think. Vile Plum, Jolteon, and then Venusaur. I don't think you only need three. Oh, wait, wait, wait. no, you need Arena one for the... Yeah, Arena. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hit a Hydro Pump, I don't know. <laughs> Still doesn't have Thunderbolt, I don't think. Not that I saw yet. Fire Blast the Venusaur. Honestly, not a terrible decision. <laughs> Can the Venusaur one-shot the Starmie? Uh, no what does it have? Let's find out. I have no idea what it might have, like, Petal Dance or something. Hopefully just Solar Beams. It has Solar Beam and Sludge Bomb. Nice. Okay, well... Thank yeah. you. Okay, let's see what we'll quote teach. Okay. Right, so Wave getting the uh, he's hold, holding the uh, button, holding the Joy-Con up, and after he talks to these, uh, the, the Thunderbolt, guard, like he, he gets forced to the right just because of how the game works and blocking in direction. Thunderbolt, he was taught. Soon. Yes, yeah, so if you go close to that sign in the Viridian Gym Leader, I think we'll die, but this rival won't walk like three steps down really slowly. So if you're too far down, he'll walk three steps. Let's see. Oh, right. yeah, Welcome here we go. All Welcome right, just back. in time for uh, an exciting fight here. To here. That's right. Thanks, you sir. do have the option to once controller this fight, but it's very risky. Yeah, in this situation, in a race close to this, it is definitely safer to go with the two six drag. Missed this way. Nice outrage. Plus voice okay. golden. Oh, Triv getting That's a hit. crit. That was a crit, I think. The way level up on Rap Dash, so Trip actually pulling ahead a little bit after that. Caroline, decide! <laughs> So the trainer's looking down, you can, yeah, like that, you can just go, look, unluckily, 
Wave got the better oh, cycle. Wow. Waves the ahead. Cycle. Like by like half a second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everything's gonna matter here. Now, yeah, this hip, this hypno uh, has uh, something that puts you to sleep. Hypnosis, probably. Will so, someone uh, pump for the range? They could try it. Or maybe. I know their special attacks are both pretty the, good. The special attack's not good enough to go for the range here. Well, they could, it's good enough to go for it. It's not good enough to be a good one. <laughs> but they're probably bad ranges, but I mean... Yeah, they're bad ranges, but they have a range at least. I, I don't expect either of them to do it, but we'll see. Same. I also don't. Hypnosis, Whoa. okay. Going to sleep. Okay. Head Wait with no hypnosis, so... Oh, you can take that? Yeah. Okay, okay. crit with one, so... Wave a little bit ahead now. Let's see if Quo does 2C, Sam. I would expect it. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, okay. I see. Let's go! Might be- well, Quo is level 51, right? And has pretty good special attacks, so maybe you can just Psychic it? But doesn't right? have enough Psychics! It doesn't have enough- It uh, doesn't have enough Psychics, you're right, you're right. Maybe the Elixir. May oh, maybe. But he doesn't have the Ether. He that is not great. That's, That's unfortunate. Wait, wh why was Starry poisoned? Maybe from- Koga? Or maybe uh, maybe something did, happened did on uh, the you first get poison fight. from the Nitto from the Nidorino. Uh, so did gone. not psychic the so maybe just scalded the Nidorino and then got poison? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I wasn't looking up looking at it. Rap dash Rap power love. The two C. Okay. Well they're well close making for this Samuel fight, uh Let's see how these Alexis get go gifts go. Alright, so Wait, it. Throw. Little slow. And Tristro. Race throw. Race throw. All right. Easy. Okay. Colby skip. Nice. <laughs> That's sketchy. Kind of. Alright, yeah, this jig Let's see. can troll quite a bit. We've seen a lot of trolls from this fight uh, over the tournament. I mean, we've, we've already missed the pump, so it won't happen again. Is that a defense drop? It shouldn't matter unless wave misses. Oh, wave missed. my oh, god. Oh, okay, man. never mind. <laughs> Triple miss. And Triple just gets Trib through easy. Just gets through. Oh, no. Oh. Was that enough? There was uh -oh. special defense drop, so I think it way more. Good thing that didn't miss, because that might have been a death. <laughs> yeah. Trip close your head now, wow. Oh my god, this is so back and forth between the I, I I wonder how much they care about winning though compared to being upper. Yeah, that's what I wonder too. I think uh, at least I'll have a better understanding of what their pace is when they exit VR. Nope, okay. <laughs> well. Oh, and okay, Quo, we're back. Yep, and Quo going for uh two for two C uh, Giovanni here. Okay. Hopefully oh. we don't get Oh and, and we uh, Trevor and Wave are having a race of push block. <laughs> that is Lapras. <laughs> Lapras That is not great, because now that the Lapras just lives through the entire fight and it's uh, decently slow, but, I mean, you win. So we take it. Lapras is so big in this game, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. He didn't use Mist, right? Totally used it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Mystic Dark, okay, okay, yeah. Chat, 
chat freaking me out. Tesk tesk. Right, power up a void by Trev, so he's not going to have to heal leading into um, Lorelei. Okay, so Haze is the move that you don't want to use. Yeah. Um, shout out to someone, uh, Kid Rocker, uh, for doing that when I did the phone with him, or something with him, <laughs> way back when. <laughs> yeah. Also, because Waves healed her. Uh, yeah. Dawson, and then Power Bust barely get anything. Wait, we must have really good defense. Uh... Yeah, so they're so neither of them are going to need to heal before Lorelei. Mm -hmm. I think they can also just go for four as well. Triv going for the full restore. Yeah, that signifies no TC Agatha from Triv. And. Looking right now at this pace, I think we're looking at around like somewhere between mid 306 and like high three, uh, low 307, yeah. depending on those safety stats. Yeah, so I think if they want us to just do upper, they can just do. Yeah, they can do safety and, and be safe for upper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, the upper cutoff time, if. I don't actually remember it. I'm gonna have to pull it, it up. It is 308.19. 308.19, alright. Yeah, I think they got a lot of buffer time if they're just looking to get the upper bracket. But if they want that uh, upper pot too, they're gonna have to push to beat the other opponent. But there are some uh, there are some scary people in upper pot too right now. So uh, you may want to push for that. <laughs> everyone is good in pot one and pot two. And three. and three. And three. And three. And three, too, yeah. We got a uh, headstrong so. and teapot guaranteed in upper pot three. Both so. very strong players. Yeah, and whether it's head bob, wave, or triv in the pot three, like they're also strong runners. Yeah, wave is just going for it. He has deposited Rapidash. Okay, just like, seems like he can just push for the win then. Okay, well. Oh, that. Okay, Vileplume came out. Okay. Yeah, Vileplume came out. Yeah, because uh, Lapras is there. I was thinking if it was possible for Jolteon to come out second. But, uh. I think Jolteon will come out second if he used, like, Aerodactyl or Goku. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Did Triv Scald or Hydro? Triv just Scald it. So I hit that plus four there. Oh, one way Wave is saving a little bit of time against on Triv is that Triv is after every single um, Pokemon is that like you're getting the text, you're getting the text box for like your, your party's getting experience and Wave's not getting that right now. I wonder if Wave will do save. I if it will redeposit or re take out. I'm like, I don't. Know. I doubt it. I think if I think if you deposit, it, then you just you just pull something. Let me see save. So, no, so Chad's mentioning Stealth Rock. If you have two Pokemon in your party, Onyx will often go for Stealth Rock first. Boo, no uh, fun. But then, if Wave, because Wave only has one Pokemon, like, like an Earthquake is coming from the Onyx. I mean, Triv went die the Earthquake, and since nothing else has a fire move that can kill Sarmi, it's safe. There's no need to TC Triv. Although you should probably TC Bruno to secure off her bracket. It should have happened. But that's boring. We're not we're not TCing, Joker. <laughs> yeah, imagine TC.
Oh, Bruno turn around from Wave on those things. Oh. Probably uh, too many X items then. Um. Well, he had the he had the he had the heal I think on Sabrina, and then he had to heal a couple times for on Carolyn. Well, the so heals went affected, but I think it was the Naomi X item. We did it. I, I always thought it was just like any heal item, like no, it, in a battle not. it would have. Nah, heals don't affect it, but uh, X items do. Okay, anyways, uh, Quo going through, uh, bringing out Bingus again for a PC, uh, Naomi. And now the pump, easy. Hey, Cho going for 1C, Agatha. I don't recall seeing a heal beforehand. Oh, wait, I think Quo still has all the vibes, right? I would have had to revive the Starmie on Samuel, so there's at least one there. Yeah. And then uh, probably another one for... Well, actually, no. Not one for Giovanni, because Lapras didn't die. Okay, Alright, so no like power of love for Triv, so she's going to need to use the full restore here. And That's no defense fine. drop, so this is just safe to go psychic throughout. Where are the pumps? <laughs> Don't pump. Okay, okay. okay. Looking like the standard fight for wave as well. Please. I think he's status lag. Wave though. Okay, no crit crunch, defense drop, so we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Got the exact same fight pretty much. Yep. Let's see what happens. Oh, Quo well going for Hydro Pump on him. The no, wave just went for Hydro Pump on the, the, on the Weezing and Oh! Oh! oh. Knocked out. I, I looked away. I was like, okay, it's just a safe fight. For Wave. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well. Head Bob is now upper bracket. Yeah, Head Bob is, yes, guaranteed upper bracket at this point. Yeah, wow. So, Hydro Pumps on Agatha, you can use them and you save uh, two seconds each time because you don't get a turnaround. But uh, if, you, if you miss, you die. Just like that. If you don't have any anything else in the party. Oh, doesn't have. Oh, wait, no, no. I, I did the exact same thing, Joker, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know thought exactly that was Wave, not Crib. Yeah, I thought that was Wave, not Crib. <laughs> yeah, so, um... Yeah, Head Bob is upper. Uh, let's see where Wave... What, what pace is this now for Wave? Um, wave would have been about 311 through 12. Is, is Wave going to be lower? No, Wave will be up, upper two. Lower pop. Lower pop one, okay? So all seconds. If you get second place in your race, you're either oh, upper yeah, pot three pop. or lower pot one. Unless something okay. terrible happens in quote and catch up. But I, I wouldn't expect it from here. I feel like Wave should just bring in the Rap Dash and do Sage Shred. This <laughs> yeah, for wave, I, I yeah, I agree. It's safe, it's safe here for. Wait, no full restore. Yeah, it so then you should definitely do two. Uh, have to use the Agatha Two don't you know. have, yeah. Or just get power of love. <laughs> anyway, still Triv, the... yeah. Triv doing uh, safe juicy lance here right now. Just I actually am just gonna ride it out for the the easy win here. 148 special attack by level 53. Very easily will KO the Dragonite. 
Yeah, hopefully Wave thinks about the no full restore and... I mean, if, if, if Wave... If Wave just like goes into the fight when he is and sees the no full restore, he just... As long as he brings in a, a second Pokemon in the party. Just uh, bring it in. That was a crit that played from there, but it won't matter. Unless suddenly we see the Jolteon again. <laughs> panic! Oh. Everybody panic! No more Jolteon. Okay, my info uh, on uh, Dawson right now. It's like, we can see if uh, a power weapon is here. So power of hipping, like uh both should like heal going into the into the lore life by this point. Come on, where's the second please put the second mod in. You don't or have save. <laughs> okay. I think he's healing. No please! He don't have No Saving. Saving? Saving. Okay, well, at and least we'll learn that learn. there's no full restore. <laughs> Just get power of love. Unless he bought some, look at it. I didn't see it if he did. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't see getting it. Off. I didn't oh, see any in the menu. Oh, well, I accidentally stalled at the Blastoise, but it didn't matter. Blastoise barely does anything. Just get power Simple. of love. Simply get lucky. <laughs> yes, yeah, my advice. Well, in this situation, actually, it's so. Uh, um, yeah, but no fun. Oh, yes! Let's go! <laughs> Just good luck. Oh my god. Oh, let's god, go! Let's go! Let's go! Wow. <laughs> let's That's the guy I've seen. I wonder, I wonder if the wave is going to realize before he comes into his interview that he did not have a four store. That's what I'm curious about. Well last time he didn't come in for so. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Please see. Okay, so I just went through it there. Uh, Triv through, gonna be finishing off with a th high 306. Okay, you said Triv through, and I thought the other throw instead of the one you meant. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> so GG's to Triv, gonna be firmly in upper pot two with uh, et Etiquette and Etchy. This should be Etchy's time, right? Uh, yes, this will be Etchy's yeah. time. Uh, meanwhile, Wave making its way starting Lance. I uh, did save. And Quo is currently on the Lorelei fight. And Quo getting turnarounds on Lorelei. Let's see, uh, lucky. 
open up the race time just to see what time we got in there. We got a 3.06.43 in race time for Triv. Very solid time. Alright, how did I win this? Uh, hi, Triv. Uh, hey, Triv. Congrats. Congratulations um, on the win. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I know. Wave uh, Hydro Pump Aggie for the next. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. And then, so he started over. Didn't have, um, didn't have a full restore, but went in Agatha with no backup Pokemon. Power of Love. Easy. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, Alright, <sighs> welcome in. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about from your run was uh, the Magmar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even start about that. that was <laughs> <laughs> How can every race in this tournament be the worst race of my life and still PB? Like, race PB. <laughs> I don't understand how this keeps happening. Well, you know what? Yeah, you made it through, at least. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that Magmar... I, I was about to DNF when that happens, and then I was like, okay, let's, let's at least check what the situation is, and then I saw that wave was right behind me, and I thought, what is going on in this race? Oh, wave. So, I'm not sure if you saw it, but wave oh. caught tentacruel. Magmar oh, okay. and Ditto. <laughs> That's interesting. An interesting catch route. <laughs> yeah, oh, it was so, one of the catch routes. So early yeah. game, he caught um, a, a Route 3 Spiro and uh, a Mount Moon Zubat, so couldn't get Golbat or Firo. And had to do Rival before Misty, because he didn't have 15. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I to say there's a lot going on in this race. Yeah. Way too much. Uh, I kind of uh, figured that when I saw Wave behind me, that he was having a similarly cursed time. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. then I had the stream up for the last hour or so of the of the run, but I didn't catch how he died on Agatha. I guess that is now cleared up. Yeah. Um, I had a very very bad early game. Or at least it felt like it. Uh, I don't quite remember what happened. I think I stepped into like three encounters in Mount Moon. And overall, I, I stepped into like two more Ghastlies in Tower, then a Muck, I think, in Mansion. Too, too many encounters that I didn't need. But, you know, managed to keep a cool hat even with the uh, technical delays that we had earlier. That's just for context for. <laughs> For the viewers, maybe that was 100% me. Uh, my PC just decided to not want to work today. Yeah, and it took me like 40 minutes to even get the stream going, which is also why there were some connection issues during the run, which I also apologize for. No, honestly, it wasn't that bad. Only went down for like a minute twice. Thankfully, mm. we have a, a great tech team here, Fury on Tech today, helping out with that. Yeah, thank you so much to Fury and Jordan, and also Wave, uh, who helped me out earlier with the tech issues. Whew. Okay, you know, I'd like to take a look at Wave's uh, champion fight. Uh, looks like Wave's done some of his setup. I haven't seen how much yet. Can you use up to plus two about to do plus four? Okay. Now, one thing I'm curious about is, uh, can Wave plus four this fight? And if not, will Sludge Bomb kill Wave here? Well, Wave oh. is also level 54, so it does have a little bit more, a little bit more special type he normally would have. Yeah, what really nice thing in this race is that, uh, all three of you got good starries. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, pleasantly surprised with my style again. Honestly, I think space. yours was the worst one of the three. That's the exact same thing that happened last round. <laughs> <laughs> three amazing stammings, I had the worst one, but mine was still good, especially because I won the speed tie with Rapidash on Blaine, and uh, I did manage to get, I think, 129 speed at 50. So I also outspent the Pidgey Yacht. So, you know, that's all you need, really, uh, yeah. <laughs> in terms of speed. Uh, it looks like Wave's just wrapping up right now. Looking like, uh, 
Pi 312, I think, here. Maybe a 313, but probably 312. Uh, high three, high three twelve. All right, so GG's the wave. Uh, and then right now, Quo just making his way through Agatha. Okay, I, I'm, one thing I am curious about, Priv, is that, um, were you always planning on doing a uh, safe lance and champ, even if wave is close to you, or were you always going to 2C those? No, uh, I had definitely planned to 1C lance, mm -hmm. uh, because that fight wastes a lot of time for the 2C strat, and then depending on that, I was going to consider also 1C and champ. Uh, but when I saw that Wave died on Agatha, I just, you know, knew that I could do the safe strat and still be fine. Yeah. This probably could have been a 305 if I didn't do the safe strats on Lance and Champ, but I'm glad that I was able to finish. Mm -hmm. And yeah, <laughs> right in that, uh, in that uh, upper pot too, with uh, Mizu, you won't have to face Etiquette or Echi. Next yeah, round. honestly, honestly, pot two is the god item. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would challenge some of the other races. Maybe I should have thrown my race a little bit harder <laughs> to get in there. <laughs> like, okay, what's going I mean, yeah, to be I honest, I don't think anyone wants to face you either. Let's be real. Yeah, that is <laughs> yeah. true. Uh, honestly, really, everyone, everyone at the top nine runners still remaining. I think. It's pretty scary, so uh, even though I can dodge Etchy and Etiquette now, I still have, you know, Amber, Keypad, yeah. Einem. Mm -hmm. I could basically list every name. <laughs> and everything would be I'm, scary. I'm ready for the lower bracket matchup of Wave and Ash. Yeah, Wave, thanks for, for joining us. Uh, first of all, overall thoughts on the run? I challenge anyone in the community to do better than I did on that run with the RNG I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are some, some wild things that happened. The, the catch route at the end of the airway is uh, a little... one good thing that happened. <laughs> a, 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 a little cursed, I think, would be an understatement here. <laughs> it was so cursed. Um, did you did you know that you uh, for the the second time you did Agatha fight? Did you? Realize about the four store situation? Of course I did, that's why I say it. Okay. Love it. Uh yeah, I noticed barely not getting level fifteen after uh Mount Moon and then couldn't and get anything good to spawn. And eighteen catches. Yeah. But you know what, at least you made it through, finished finished the run at least. So, uh, lock yourself in the lower wreck at pot one. That's pot one? Jesus Christ. Yep, if you get second place in your race, you, uh, oh, okay. always upper three or lower one. That makes sense. Alright, so let's see. Chloe's just gonna make his way starting champ now. Uh, yeah, starting champ. I saw the elixir and I was confused, but oh, that's where we are. Uh, looking like just a one seat here. Unless I missed the second controller. Just realized the post trainer name is Q. Didn't notice until now. <laughs> Hoping for nothing bad happen here. Got a dodge crit a few times. Hopefully, just gets through the fight. I'm just remembering now what bailed me out after my early game. I I got that amazing route six with uh, oh. Abra, Chansey, Growlithe, oh. and Jigglypuff. Yes. Yeah, that was 
That was that so was interesting. The... I saw you skip the growl of kind of initially, and then... Uh, you... Yeah, kind of because it was running away from me, and also because I had heard the Abra spawn. Uh, I just wanted to make sure to left. No, no, no! Oh, oh <laughs> no. Oh, uh, did close save, because that's your wipe. Uh, does not. No. Oh no. Looks like yeah, that. Okay, forfeited. Does not look like. Yep, and Quo has uh, officially forfeited. So, uh, oh. Quo. A very unfortunate right at the end. Uh, yeah. Uh, misplanned it. Yeah, it happens. But, uh, thank you. Thank you for playing. Uh, what were your thoughts on your run overall? Uh, sh uh,. It was a run. It was interesting. Um, well, first of all, I didn't get a good Pikachu, so I had to restart for that. And then I hit an optional like early on, and I'm like, oh, it's one of these types of runs. Um, and then I got a bunch of catches, but none of the stuff that I needed. So I had to wait on like Growlithe for a while, and Nidoran Mail for a while, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, and after a while, so I've been learning the advanced route, but I wasn't too, too, too sure on it. So I was doing the beginner route. And then towards the end, I like just sort of switched over, because I'm like, it's not going to PB, and I don't think I'm going to make it to lower pot one. So, uh, tried to do that. And yeah. it mostly worked out, but, yeah. uh, not completely. Yeah. Almost. Thunder, you, you pulled a me and didn't teach Thunderbolt for Sabrina. I did not teach them. yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I was reading a lot and, uh, missed over a few things, and that was one of them. <laughs> yeah. At least it's not dead. At least it's just time loss. Yeah. You know, one thing I noticed is that you were the only runner to have a, a, a not cursed catch route at the end of there. You just yeah, I managed to just like get everything early on, so I guess that was nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I caught yeah. Rapidash. Oh yeah, I I noticed after you got the pony tattoo. It yeah, got in. Pretty body slammed to me, so. <laughs> I don't I even know where that rapid dash came from. <laughs> well, I just like dashed from the left side, and uh, my Starmie was like pretty bad, so I'm like, I'm just gonna use the extra candy that I should have used on rapid dash on it. it. Was like 10:37, I think. Yeah, it was low CP, but I think both the special attack and speed were quite good. So I, um... I guess just all the other stats were bad. At least from what I remember. I haven't beat the elite four. I think. You can. I'm not positive though. But yeah, it, I think I saw like 90 special attack and 94 speed at level 46 star you, which is quite good. Yeah, it must have been everything else that was bad then. <laughs> yeah, probably. You know, CP, CP is a lie. Bad CP, you can get good stars. Good CP, bad stars. <laughs> yeah, but uh, any other thoughts from uh, my races? Not really. All right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so uh, I guess that was the very last race of round two. So now, uh, very shortly, uh, I believe the stream will have to quickly go down and back up. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, Joker. Yeah, it should. Yeah. Go down for right. a second or two. But right after that, we're going to have the round three draws. Uh, I, I'm, me and Joker will be there. Maybe somebody else. Not sure, but I'm very excited for that. Yep. So. And so, yeah. Well, we will see y'all at the draws very shortly. Stay tuned.